Hey, what's up? I'm Jack, welcome to VAST. Uh, it's really nice to see you guys again. Uh, I cannot express enough uh, how amazing these first two episodes have been for everybody involved. Um, we are honestly like, let's, let's just break down where VAST came from for a second so that you can understand what this means for us. Um, VAST comes from a Star Trek game that I've been running in my like living room for the last three and a half years. It's the first game I'd ever run. Uh, it was the first RPG that I'd ever uh, been the, the master for. And I'd only actually played in a couple of tabletop games before it. Um, it, it changed my life. Uh, it, it brought a lot of my friends uh, in to my world a lot more. Uh, it brought, uh, I think, a lot of understanding between a lot of various different kinds of people in a way that I didn't expect. Uh, it had a really positive social uh, change in my world. And so in coming to VAST uh, and, and doing this in front of a whole wide range of people, I wasn't really sure what to expect, especially because while I was bringing in some of the people from my Star Trek game, I wanted to also expand out to some of my friends and see what they, uh, some of my new, you know, newer friends, people I'd met since I started the Star Trek game, uh, who might want to, you know, do, do this with us. Uh, suffice to say, the uh, response to this has been overwhelming. Uh, your tweets are all heard. Your feedback is all heard. Um, we had a fan send us legitimately like a four page notes document. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, I hope I take a few of them today. Um, I, we have fan art, uh, which we are now collecting for a legitimate like fan art gallery. So please make more fan art because once we get to a certain number that lets us do cool things like, you know, fan, uh, uh, fan art. Uh, sizzle reels and stuff like that. Uh, it's gonna be a really good time. So uh, the the fact that you guys are already engaging this hard, uh, it really does mean the world to me and it means the world to uh, the cast at large. Uh, so thank you again for joining us, whether you're coming in on uh, Alpha, where I hope you'll join us after episode four, because after that we'll be Alpha exclusive, uh, or on YouTube or on Twitch. Uh, it really just means the absolute world to us. So moving on. Uh, I want to address a couple of things that have come up in the fan uh, chat just because uh, I want to be here for you and be as responsive as possible. Uh, first thing is about resources. A lot of you were wondering where to find more stuff about the universe, where to know more about Vast, where to understand the mechanics, all of that, which I completely understand. Uh, I have written pages and pages for our cast, for our writers, for our crew, so that they can understand all of the, uh, the intricacies of this universe and you are all having to experience it in game for the first time. And that was on purpose. I, I wanted you to experience it fresh and explore it with us. That said, as we get deeper into the game, I think it's important that you have access to the resources that you want. So with that in mind, I am working with Geek and Sundry to create an online resource for exactly that. For those of you that want to play vast home games, this will give you the basics for, for being able to do that. For those of you that just want to follow along and know what the hell we're talking about when we mention like the Zocodal or you'll meet a new species tonight called the Play are. If you want to know more about them, well, they'll be right there in your, uh, in, uh, in those resources. So, uh, hopefully we'll have those for you soon. Uh, we are hard at work, me and the whole writing staff. Um, which brings me to another thing. Tonight is the first episode not written by me. It is in fact the first game I've ever run that wasn't written, uh, like by my own hand. Uh, tonight's episode was written by, uh, Rick Budd, who is a, uh, a very good friend of mine, a very respected, uh, excellent writer, and the executive producer of Future Girl, uh, which was a show I directed with Amy Dallin and uh, a, a whole bunch of other amazing, and Gina DeVivo, and a whole bunch of other <laughs> really amazing people, Heather Wood. Uh, we have all sort of been playing in a lot of different worlds together for a long time, and this was a great opportunity, I think, to, uh, to bring those worlds together in a new way. Um, Rick has been invaluable in helping me put together Vast uh, beyond just being a writer, and I, I just wanted to shout him out hugely. Uh, you wanna know what he looks like? Check out my Twitter, we just took a selfie. Uh, where we, uh, <laughs> where we uh, also revealed the title of this week's episode, uh, which is a pretty tongue-in-cheek title, you guys. Now I'll tell you later. <laughs> uh, lastly, I want to uh, I want to talk about uh, the name for our fans because uh, our uh, one of our writers, Nick Gilman, uh, put out a uh, he he sent a text to a few of us uh, around the launch week saying, "All right, listen, astronauts," and we all had a good laugh, and then we just started using it because it was too good. Now, I understand that. There might be other names that you guys want to go by. Go for it. Um, tonight is going to be the night we figure this out. Uh, we're actually going to do it in kind of a cool, structured way. So 
Over the course of the first half of the show, you know, we have that break in the middle, right? So over the course of our first act, I invite you guys to, in the chat, uh, you can discuss it if you like, but please go to Twitter and hashtag VastFans and put what you think the name for Vast Fans should be. The Vast of Us. <laughs> yeah, whatever, have fun. Uh, put that up on Twitter under hashtag VastFans. Geek and Sundry Alpha will be looking for this. They will collect all of that. And then when we head into the second half of the show, I will reveal our top four picks. Those four picks will then be put onto an online poll that will end at the end of the show, giving you all an opportunity to go on and choose what you want to be called, how you want to move forward in this crazy new Vastiverse that we've uh, found ourselves in. So uh, again, it's hashtag VastFans. Make it happen, you guys. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, and uh, I want to actually, along those same lines, shout out uh, one of our fans who's been very um, uh, active about this, Pete Anders, uh, who has been uh, really behind me making sure I get this done. So thank you, Pete, for the recommendations and the suggestions. Uh, I hope you like whatever everybody comes up with. Otherwise, you're just going to be stuck with astronauts, buddy. Uh, <laughs> and that's all I've got for preface. Um, I want to sort of initially get a little bit more uh, in depth about mechanics and story, uh, just for those of you that don't remember. So um, as we go through the game, you'll see that they, people, the characters have a lot of attributes, skills, and merits. I'm gonna combine numbers from those attributes, skills, and merits, which you will see on the character sheets. I'm gonna combine those into what I call macros. These are larger scale roles that are very condition specific. They'll then roll those condition specific macros and we're on to the races. Uh, based on, or off to the races, however it goes. Uh, based on that, we're gonna have a, a number of successes. Minor successes, medium successes, full successes, or outstanding successes. As they sound, those are varying degrees of success. Uh, if you get a two or lower, that's a failure. Uh, and if you get a 10 uh, on one of those rolls or a one on those rolls, those act as critical successes or critical failures, which can do extra fun uh, additional uh, either damage or benefit to your character. Uh, combat works very similarly. Simple dot mechanics against other dot mechanics. Ship combat's a little more complicated, but if you really want to know how that works, I really suggest going back to episode two, checking out how the brightest eye do it. They fight a lot of spaceships. Uh, you might see some of that tonight. Who knows? In all honesty, it's up to the players. So with that in mind, I think we should head over to the Pocop Peacekeep, uh, and we will check in with our players before we get into character and remind everybody where we are this week. Uh, so with that in mind, thank you for being with us, and welcome to Vast. Earth is gone. All of our homeworlds are. Swept away by the dark force known as the Slate. Saved by the ancient Paka and given new worlds, we are now the Peacekeeper. We search for justice, truth, equality, and meaning. And ensure that none will ever have to suffer as we did. Our aim is truth. Our power is great. Let the galaxy... I'm I'm so keep yeah, I, I, I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> hey, what up, guys? What's up? Hello. As per usual, we are back with the Paka Peacekeep uh, because it is an odd week. This is episode three of Vast, entitled The Vast and the Furious. Oh, 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 Rick Bud. Man, me. I let him do it. We tried. We tried to come up with something more serious. It didn't work, That's you guys. Fine. Yeah. No. Um, as per usual, I, I want to make sure that we uh, we run this down and you remember who it is we're having tonight. So uh, go ahead and introduce yourself and your character, please. Uh, starting with Amy. Hello, my name is Amy Dallin. I play Captain Lucy Bard, the very first human ever to be a captain in the Pock Hop Peacekeep. All right, I'll go. Um, uh, I'm Kate Leth, and uh, I am playing Syrah the Unbidden. I am a flame giant rock person and the tactical officer on our ship. BT Dubs, there's been some like, there's been some really good fan art like across the board. There's been some great like comics, lots of cool stuff. The Syrah fan art is hailing so it. So, so if you're a fan of any other character on the show, you should probably make some fan art. Otherwise, Syrah's <laughs> no. just gonna run away you're with that. Away that. <laughs> be the only, everybody will think that Vast is just a story about a golem with a fire. With with the I gotta say, uh, a shout out to Exo Girl Wonder, uh, who oh, was yeah. live tweeting her rewatch and just made yeah. my freaking so day. Awesome. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, I haven't seen this. Yeah, yeah. I'll send it to you. And she yeah. was in the chat last week and we were talking to her, so yeah. it was awesome. Killer, thank Exo Girl. tonight. Hello Exo Shulk. Girl Wonder. Yep. Exo, Exo Girl, Girl Wonder. Wonder. Yep. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna check that out. I'm excited. 
Uh, I, uh, all right, let's go over to Gina. I am Gina DeBevo. I play Luvin Yikjal Moor, which is the commandant to this lovely lady over here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just keeping it real. I'm a giant cat, and I am currently real burned. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Speaking uh, of giant cats. Giant cats, I am another giant cat, because I am her brother. I am Jeff Torres, and I'm playing uh, Rake Yikjal Moor. And, uh, yeah, I'm the pilot. I'm a, you know, devil may care kind of pilot guy. Hired. hired well, a hired gun. Relatively drunk. Relatively drunk. Most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> but how much you know is dependent on social roles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which, exactly. Which I I've heard the I've heard the people being like, oh I don't like social roles. Guys, this is my game. Like social roles are the game. Oh, I will say I'm into this. I when I started Jack's Star Trek game, I was really suspicious about this because I never played in a game with like any sort of level of social PvP. And here's the thing. I probably wouldn't trust anyone but Jack with it, but it's I've played really with good. Jack, and Jack is great, and I love that mechanic, and I love his games. Well, so thanks. I, a, I yeah, I really like didn't know thing. better. I didn't know better when I initiated, <laughs> this, so I'm just I'm I just like trying to keep more. my uh, head on my shoulders. Uh, but thank you for that, uh, Colin. Lastly, I am Colin Kelly. Uh, I play. This might be a good idea. Uh, if you watched last week, you might also know me as the Heretic. Yeah! None of us know that, but we know that. For those of you who haven't been uh, totally caught up to speed, the basics are these. We have uh, two major civilizations in this universe that are uh, dealing with sort of one large scale crisis. On one side, the Pakha Peacekeep, which is a series of uh, essentially uh, refugee races that have all been saved from a massive galactic. Think of it as like a galactic weather event called the Slate. It's like an ongoing tsunami that just wipes out everything in its path. Um, Let's use hurricane rather than yeah. tsunami, because yeah. I just heard about Japan. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Um, that was insensitive. Anyway, hurricanes. Um, it's a huge storm front. It sort of heads through the uh, heads through space, wiping out uh, planets, star systems, etc. No one really knows what to do with it, how to solve it, and uh, a species called the Pagha, who are ancient and unknowable, have actually taken in a whole bunch of species and uh, helped save them and sort of uplift them from the slate. On the flip side, we have the brightest eye. The brightest eye are a brutal uh, warrior-like, uh, oh. very um, yeah, they're very unpopular <laughs> today. Uh, <laughs> this whole set turns red when they're here. Uh, but they are, for all intents and purposes, uh, the only species that has ever stopped the slate in its tracks by unknown means. However, uh, in our last game, uh, or in the last two games, we learned that there is a, a, a person of some cultural importance to the uh, Brightest Eye, though we still don't understand that context, uh, called the Heretic. Uh, that character has now shown up on the Pakha Peacekeep ship, uh, calling himself, this might be a good idea. It's because it's my name. Uh, he tried to kill all of them it, and yeah. steal their ship. Yeah. It really didn't work for him, um, yeah, well. except insofar as it kind of uh, messed with poor Luvin. You know. Uh, so we'll be dealing with that tonight. Uh, so with that in mind, um, I uh, I think we're going to sort of just start up the game, guys. Uh, do we have everything we need? We got our dice. We got our waters. We got an audience. Our nondescript waters. mugs. Yep. We got yeah. our nondescript mugs. <laughs> yep. Our Mine courage, is our bravery, our thirst for oh, vengeance, true. justice, and glory. Correct. Yeah, okay. all those. Our wow, he's really getting into your mood. Yeah. Okay. La la last week he was uh, a meanie. This week he's like Loving truth, us. justice, and the Paca way. I hope so. real quick, I'm real just trying quick. to stay out of that prison cell. Uh, I kind of love it. We have a very strong good influence. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. 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 All right. So with that in mind, let's um, let's get started with this, shall we? Welcome to Vast Episode Three: The Vast and the Furious. I'm never gonna get tired of it, <laughs> ever. I can't be mad about it. I live in a world of puns, forever. right? But wait until more wait. Yeah. Yeah. I've read your solicits for Hellcat. <laughs> it's just puns. It's just all puns. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm constantly inspired by uh, uh, the, by not just yours, but like most of the Marvel trades have just like absurd. Well, see, Ryan titles. North started it <laughs> yeah. because yeah, he had Ryan the North. Squirrel Girl ones that were like, Squirrel, you know it's true. Right. And then Howard <laughs> the Duck was doing the same thing, so I was like, well, we have to do it for Hellcat because we have to do cat puns too. Check so. out Hellcat oh. Volume One, hooked on a feline. It's yes. so good. And the second one. Is, is not out yet, but it's gonna be called Don't Stop Meow. Oh. So good. Oh. I didn't come up with it, but I like taking it's the credit so for good. it. <laughs> uh, Joyride Volume 2 is called Teenage Spaceland, which is as I close as I could get. Yeah. I, felt, I felt good about it without feeling great about it. We're still oh. uh, <laughs> Tweet it, Jack. There's no cat. Right name. There's no cat. 
puns. I, I can't. Know, shit. Yeah. It's, it's not as real. easy. I know. Cat puns are pretty easy. It's well, it's specific because great. they have to be cat puns that are also the title of like an '80s power ballad. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's actually a lot harder than you would think. I spent many hours scrolling through Spotify. Well, uh, just get prepared for the chat to be running with them all night. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yes. So you'll have you'll have ten of them by the end of the night. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Future proofing uh, your comic books. Uh, since 2016. <laughs> vast. Uh, all right, you guys. Let's get serious. It's vast time. Get out of chat. Get out of chat. Um, again, <laughs> again, for those of you who uh, I either didn't hear or came in late, this episode was written by Richard Budd. Uh, check out Future Girl for more stuff by Rick. He's amazing. We're going to mess it all up. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, so yeah. You're Rick's going to hate me by the end of this thing. He's going to be like, yeah. none of the things that I wrote happened. You're like, mm -hmm. ah, well. Blame, blame the players. Welcome you're to Vast. Welcome. Hate the player, not the game. What? Yeah, no, blame the players, that. not the game. <laughs> yeah, in this case. It's me on the and, advice A. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. I'm going to say that. Right. Last we found you guys, the uh, <laughs> uh, you were uh, on that uh, planet, Border 17. You had found yourselves a new guest, not so much a captive, because he'd actually made his way onto your vessel through um, some some very careful diplomacy with your captain. That door is still locked. Yes, it is. Uh, but something has happened since then um, that sort of kicked off in our last game, and uh, has, we're going to sort of come in right in the middle of it here. You see, with the slate beginning to encroach on the outskirts of the brightest eye, the Avalon has been dispatched. Yeah, right? Were you not around for episode two? I was, That's a but thing. Lucy wasn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, so uh, this will uh, this will come out. This will be a thing we deal with. But essentially the way to, to recognize this, Lucy, is that uh, the brightest eye, uh, you know, they don't send any kind of communications. They don't send any kind of um, distress calls or anything like that. All that happens is that the Paka uh, sends out a shipwide call letting the entire ship know that there is in fact a uh, a slate situation going on in the brightest eye. Now this is one of the main uh, things for the Paco Peace Keep. This is one of your main objectives. Um, so the Avalon has been dispatched to secure permission for the Peace Keep rescue ships to begin evacuations to the endangered worlds. You're locked in your room, hold up. Having had no real contact for about for, you know, hundreds of years, relations between the two cultures are virtually non-existent. And the mission is considered a long shot. But saving lives from the slate is, of course, the primary aspect of the Peace Keep's mission. So you're on your way. In the meantime, the presence of a mysterious new passenger, this might be a good idea, has the whole ship slightly on edge since he so recently attacked you, doing real damage to respected crew member Commandant Leuven. And it's with Leuven that we're going to begin. Lulu, the scars you acquired last week while you were caught in Good Idea's trap still cover most of your body. Lucky for you, the Avalon is equipped with hyper, <laughs> with hyper advanced peacekeep medical technology. You are currently in the ship's med bay and, sh and will shortly undergo a procedure that will fix the scarring. However, while your skin will be fixed immediately, the biology of your pheromones has been affected in such a way that it might take years to heal. No. This, won't, this won't cause differences to the effect of your pheromones. It's simply that other curae will be able to sense this and will perceive it as an imperfection. They will probably be looking at you slightly askance for some time. Obviously, this is a lot for you to process. <laughs> so, you're alone with your thoughts. When the doors open, and your brother Rake enters. Rake, you've come to check in on her, knowing this all full well. Go. <laughs> Not right now, Rake. I just wanted to be here for you. Yeah, I know. So, my sis is gonna be damaged goods, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, now we're even, right? Yes. Uh, at least you can have a procedure to fix it. Being ugly is not something that you can just go to the doctor and get taken out. Funny. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not there. <laughs> I'm sorry. If it means anything. What are you sorry for? Not stopping him fast enough? You didn't 
know. And I should have been with you. I should have gone with you. No, I should have just known it was a trap. It's no one's fault. I just can't get the door open fast enough. The last thing you said to me, the last time I saw you. What was the last thing I said to you? I think your exact words were, Rake, I'm ashamed that you never fight for a cause bigger than yourself. Yeah. Well, I'm here now. Of course. I'm getting paid for it. You're not. So I guess I win. I guess that's the best apology I'll get. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah. It's good to see you too. Well, I, uh... Better let the doctor patch you up, huh? Yeah, I'll probably have some missing patches of fur for a while, though. <laughs> <laughs> I will replace all of your furs. Uh, and the doors open and you see uh, Nurse Pawaka, who is uh, one of your primary medical officers, uh, a Zocodal, um, rather thin, not nearly as sort of massive as most Zocodal. Uh, Again, for new players, Zocodal are one of the Peacekeep member races. Think of them as like sort of fungal uh, individuals. Uh, it has a calming presence. Uh, walks to you, looks to Rake. I think perhaps this procedure should be done with only family. Are you family? Yes. And he, it looks to you for confirmation. <laughs> yeah, can't you see the resemblance? She's really pretty. <laughs> Even though she's missing fur. <sighs> there are many curei on this vessel. I find them a bit of a blue blur. Little, you okay. are a racist, but that's okay. It is. <laughs> the Zocodal are yeah. sort of Sad racist. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, the the, the Zocodal, for for what it's worth, are particularly um, uh, interested in the rest of the universe all just being kind of one big blur for them to engage with. They really only understand stuff once they've ingested it, and they can't really ingest living beings. Yeah. So I mean, other beings are a little don't. tough for them. I didn't take offense to that. <laughs> Um, well, good. Funny. You're about to take offense to this. Oh. Uh, it, it, looks, it looks at you. If you do not mind my asking, I know from my academics that Kirei siblings are increasingly rare. Birth practices on Kirei are known for their... brutality. You are... Exceptionally unattractive for a Kirei. I am curious how this could possibly have happened. I hope I have not given offense. It is purely a scientific inquiry. I, I mean, that's a, a very powerful observation for just seeing blue blurs. But, uh, well, she was really pretty and we were holding hands. You don't have to explain yourself to this nurse. Oh, he's curious. I don't mind. Look, you're just gonna fix me, okay? My brother's pretty rad, so he's staying for the procedure. I have to stay. Just. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'm not even. I'm not gonna. Be no. It looks at you. It respects your rank and respects your. Stand up, uh, stand up attitude. It's not a word. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, just it must say it. It yeah. appreciated yeah. must say it. It appreciated. It did. Thank you. You say it. Must say it. Indeed. Please stand back. Uh, and the uh, and nurse Kowaka proceeds. Uh, <clears throat> pulls a um, 
a small uh, uh, rod out of itself. Ooh. Wipes little flecks of itself off. Checks it. It works. And it proceeds sanitary? to... <laughs> terribly sanitary. <laughs> and begins to wave it sort of on either side of you. And very slowly you start to sort of feel a tingling as Ooh. the... Because uh, mo- again, most of the burns are on your back. Yeah. As most of the uh, uh, that skin uh, is refreshed, regenerated, and then the hair follicles on it are uh, stimulated. Uh, over the course of the next couple of hours, this procedure goes down. Um, I do have a question. Do you hold hands? During this process? I'm, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, curious. Always. Yeah. I'm, I'm not reaching first though, bro. <laughs> oh. so. I, I, I kind, yeah. Is this painful Aww. process? It's not painful, it's just weird. Okay. And vulnerable for a curé. <laughs> yeah. I mean, growing my flesh back. <laughs> That's not weird at all. Um. So uh, this will take a few hours. Yeah. You'll be ready for duty in the next day. Um, just a, a general, uh, Aww. Aww. a general mechanical Rose. note. Um, you will have a negative one penalty to your pheromones when dealing with other Kirei. Okay. Uh, but that's the only case in which that'll that penalty will come up. Meanwhile, we're both outsiders we'll pivot. now. Ugly! <laughs> <laughs> like ugly! Yeah. It's a recurring uglies. theme on our show. I suddenly don't feel so alone. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to say. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Meanwhile, we'll pivot to Captain Bard. Um, Captain Bard, you've been asking for updates on that at regular. <laughs> so imagine here that about a week has gone by. Um, in that week, uh, a couple of things have happened. Uh, most notably, the brightest eye uh, sort of missive has gone out uh, from the Pacot. Yeah. Uh, this is after you left Border 17, leaving a salvage team there to uh, salvage the remains of the ship that was there. Your ship was moved off-site primarily to secure Good Idea. Uh, the Pacot has taken a great interest in Good Idea, actually. Um, in in uh, You get daily uh, asks for updates from the Pacot for uh, Good Idea's Uh, Health, uh, his uh, whereabouts, his uh, uh, general sort of state of being. They should Uh, be interested. I am very interesting. (laughs) Uh, But you have, I assume, kept him (laughs) confined to quarters. Uh, I that yes, unless he's requested a specific like place that he needed to go. Oh, he has many places he needs to go. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yes. Well, with that, well, we'll have a moment to get into that. But see, uh, Captain Bard, you've received sort of a compound order from the Paca. And it's not given um, via text, it's given in person. Oh, they called me back in? Yes. Um, So we'll pick up in the middle of that uh, as the thing sort of materializes in front of you. Uh, Again, the Paca tends to material, it doesn't, isn't actually there. Uh, It is hidden behind that large scale door. But in front of it, a series of nanobots assembled to create a facsimile of the Paca, which uh, uh, sort of stares off into the middle distance. Great and powerful Oz. Here we go. <laughs> Pay no attention to the Paca behind the curtain. I can say that because they <gasps> haven't seen my Earth movies. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Captain Bard. The brightest eye is threatened. By the slate. The slate is moving? Towards the Paca. Or towards the brightest eye. On all directions. Oh, this is awful. It encircles them on all fronts. And we would, as we do, give aid, comfort, and support. Of course. Your vessel is authorized to offer the brightest eye a single homeworld with which to operate. Their vassal species may come along, but they must be integrated into brightest eye society. Vassal species? The brightest eye maintain a series of uh, slave races. Oh. These species operate willingly within the brightest eye. 
However, it seems they do so after many centuries of cultural brainwashing and propaganda. It would be our hope that these vassal species be integrated into the brightest eye and thus integrated into the peacekeep. You will be sent there on your vessel. Along the way, you will be promoting the refugee known as this might be a good idea to the role of chief science officer, replacing the current Ditopus Officer Crow. Major Crow has done nothing wrong. Agreed. Well, sorry. <laughs> kind of a rude. Kind of a dick. He's kind of a dick. Of course, so I did. You. Yeah, I did lie you on acid. So. Do you have a I science officer that's not rude fire. or murderer? Uh, <laughs> uh, are you sure about the situation? I know there's a great deal that we there can learn. There will be no argument. This may be a good idea, is the new science officer of the starship Avalon. Well, why? <laughs> because. Because why? This is a custom from my planet, you'll learn. All right, roll. <laughs> what do I roll for? Yeah, I got <laughs> you. Obnoxious human, <laughs> 10 year old, 10 Can year I old, 10 year old, no. Yeah. Um, no, we're gonna roll a command speech, right. basically. Uh, because essentially that, you are, uh, this is a essentially a social offense roll. So let's just take that macro. This is a 16. Okay. Well, people who complained about all my dice, I'm not broken. I just accidentally poured a lot of dice into a couple things. Look, <laughs> just because she has five dots in everything. I don't, that's not <laughs> my real stat. It was an accident. Accident stat. I would stats. love to. But I we're don't. still we're still upgrading these huds. We're still it's getting okay. them into play. It'll happen over time, y'all. I promise. Oh, okay. Well, my brilliant persuasive uh, attack of because why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Works every time. I'm not arguing. I'm just gonna keep asking you questions the forever. I can't handle that. They're He's like, like what, what do you mean? <laughs> oh no! I told you why. I was not programmed for why. Beat an eleven. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. probably not mm. happening. No. So many sixes! Sixes are dumb! <laughs> um, Sorry, sixes. Yeah. Out there in the... <laughs> all you sixes in all the world? Nah, no, screw you, sixes. Be seven. New Americans. <laughs> yeah. Five. It, it moves its eyes down from the middle distance to look straight at you. <laughs> in its Ooh. eyes, you see the knowledge of centuries, of millennia. <laughs> you see unknowable and inscrutable power, the likes of which you have never seen before. And it disintegrates in front of you, leaving you alone in the locked chamber. The door behind you unlocks and lights proceed towards good ideas, uh, uh, towards good ideas quarters uh, where you must deliver this news. They are shady. <laughs> yeah, they are. Love it. Uh -oh. I get in one useless to be continued. <laughs> one empty room. I do that all the time. I don't no, have no, empty room. Love that. That's awesome. Fan art. That. Yeah. To be continued. <laughs> Just her standing all alone in a single room. Defiant. To be continued. Love it. Um, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> You've been confined a quarter since coming aboard. Have I? Yep. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to roll to have broken out. Um, do not do that. Uh, I've definitely tried to break out, yeah. All right. You need to cooperate! You told me you weren't gonna lock me up. That's true. I said it wasn't a prison. <laughs> Our definitions of prison are clearly very different. <laughs> I said it would be quarters and they would be locked and you came on board. Well, I'm still gonna, I did not say I wouldn't try and break out. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just saying, do not like being locked up. If I had not up. just used <laughs> because why do on not someone like else, I would be very up. mad about this. <laughs> they need to get that energy Yeah, out. they do. They just need to work through this. Uh, all right, all your, uh, your computer lockpick column is 10. Yeah. I'm sorry, good idea. I'm really trying to use character names now, not player. I just know you guys so well. We're not people. We're not people. I am only I'm good people. idea. I'm a people. I'm just I'm good idea. Oh yeah, that's true. She is. <laughs> Important to note, we're all people. We are all people. No, just me. One, two. Just oh, right, <laughs> Only three. 
Yeah, uh, so you maybe spent the first few hours trying to work these computers, but the Paca computer systems are way more complicated than anything you've ever encountered. Um, every layer of them I'm seems so to have another layer, officer. and when you tried to actually <laughs> pop the dang thing open, uh, all you found inside were um, a series of like lighted panels, all of which seem to be connected with like, without wires. Um, the, the actual mechanics of this computer system are like magic to you. Um, so you find yourself a little bit... Uh, uh, confused and or unable to open that up. Um, does does my room have a, a, a 3D printer or a replicator no. of some kind? No. Harumph. Uh You are fed. Uh, <laughs> you are fed generally uh, by interactions with the ship's counselor, a uh, friendly and empathetic uh, and empathic Kirei doctor known as Stu Miik Jaa. Stu Miik Jaa. S T apostrophe O O space. M I apostrophe I K space J A apostrophe A. Who insists that you uh, call him Counselor Stu. Counselor yeah. Stu. I like this guy. Uh, on this particular morning when Counselor Stu shows up, he's accompanied by Captain Bard, Commandant Leuven, and Lieutenant Syrah. Oh, hey. Mm. Uh, Y'all, uh, and this is all essentially for the purpose of delivering this particular uh, bit of news and figuring out what it means uh, between you guys. I have piled all the furniture <clears throat> in the room into a giant Pillow pile. <laughs> and exactly, a giant, so I'm sitting on top of it. I'm perched on top of a giant pile of furniture. Tell me what you look like one more time. I am a relatively horrendous looking, ugly, kind of mottled brown thing with tiny That's little amazing. black eyes and a perfect teeth uh, that can generally, a mouth that can shift to accommodate any kind of language. But because he's had uh, uh, quite a lot of um, sort of, uh, let's say... Abuse? Da uh, yeah, over the years, um, those teeth are not quite so perfect anymore. Though they seem to, you should note, be growing a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, he actually looks a little less dark, a little less ugly, and a little less mottled. His eyes are slightly larger than they were before. Aww. Your food agrees with me. He's like a goldfish. Uh, Stu, Stu leads you in um, and, uh, and is unsurprised by the uh, pillow fort. He's seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good idea. You remember Commander Bard, uh, or Captain Bard, Commandant Leuven, and, uh, or I'm sorry, that really should be uh, Commandant uh, Moore, and Lieutenant Syrah. Yiktar Moore, Yiktar Moore. It's the, the whole thing is a compound last name. Yikshal Moore is a. You're right, because there's nothing to do with Yeah. 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 So. Have I Sorry. seen Yikja Moore since the. No. You've seen none of them. Ooh. Except for. No one has talked to you except for Stu. Oh. This oh. is the first time anyone has come to visit you. I'm healed. Are you sitting on the thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so you've like made it into a little like throne palace yeah. for yourself. Yeah. Got it. I'm yeah. fully healed, yes? What was that? I'm fully healed? Yes. Well. Well, I mean. Fully you know, healed, yeah. My hair is sort of back. <laughs> yes, your hair's back. Yeah. Uh, so I just sent the the counselor in to sort of be our intermediary and talk to him over the course of this week. That is correct. It's the counselor's standing job. That's like what they're there to do is be there to make sure that like, especially like when you pick up refugees, you have a whole fleet of these counselors. He's not the only counselor on your ship. Yeah. Uh, he's just the head counselor. Counselor um, Stu, thank you for finally acquiescing to my request to bring me the noble captain and commandant. Uh, thank you. You may leave. Uh, unfortunately, that is not the case, uh, our, <laughs> my friend. You see, uh, this meeting was not called at your request, but rather by the bequest of our noble Paka. This might be a good idea. It is good to see you. You look well. Captain, your food on the ship, while strange, seems to be doing wonders for my complexion. I appreciate it. What I do not appreciate is the locking of this door. I was under the explicit understanding that I would not be locked up. And yet, what do I find but a lock upon my door and just one relatively uninteresting cat person to jaw at for, I don't even know how you even maintain time in this place. It has been a week and I understand your frustration, but you did agree to quarters with a locked door at the resolution of our earlier encounter. However, so I, I have good news for you. <laughs> it just smiles. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I feel like that's probably an unpleasant thing to witness. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Composure check. 
Uh, <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah. Uh, I have news I which I hope will agree with you. In uh, in the pack, do you know much of the Paka Peacekeep? <laughs> uh, have I had access to like the computer files? Nope. Unless, um, that's actually a captain question. Has he had access to the computer files? Uh, Why would you? I would Why say would you like the no. basic equivalent of. Uh, how much do I know, Captain? <laughs> like, I don't know how much you would give him if you're- What have I yeah. heard from the counselor about his behavior? Is he seeming hostile? Is he whatever? Like, I want him to acquire a basic familiarity with the wider universe. He's a dude we've just rescued who they were trying to sell to us. Stu's basically given you a general feedback then. I think, or is, is generally given that information then. Because I think, mean, like, Stu is responsible for doing exactly that. Getting him Got essentially it. up to speed, oh. having him understand what's up with the universe, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, he's not like handing yep. military secrets, but we just rescued you and I want your basic questions about the universe to be answered. Um, that said, uh, to answer your question, Stu's general report on this guy over the last, let's say, week that you've been in, in transit uh, is that he is um, exceedingly odd. That he is inconsistent, uh, that he uh, will at one time be incredibly pleasant and at another incredibly nasty, uh, that he seems... Um, like somebody who maybe has gone through a really long form trauma uh, of, of some kind uh, yes. that maybe was at one point uh, uh, I I exceedingly diplomatic, uh, but that now not so not so much. But we also haven't dealt with someone of his species That's in correct. 700 odd years. That's right? correct. Mm -hmm. You have almost no understanding of his species. And even then, those 700 odd years, the only encounter that you had with the species was one of them telling you to leave. All you, all you know about his species, which have been self-identified as the tongue, is that they are uh, diplomats and emissaries for the brightest eye. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Whether or not they're a, even an organic, like naturally occurring race is a question at this point. Mm. Um, Good question. Fun. Yeah. So. The, uh, but uh, uh, so Stu, Stu sort of nods to you. Captain, you have the floor. I'll stand by and uh, steps back. Leave meow. He may stay. <laughs> Of course, oh, Stu, gosh. my friend. The corner is yours. <laughs> uh, Do I know I'm, yet? I, I would like you to Have make a composure check. Yeah, I was like, am I gonna do a composure check? Yeah. Or? <laughs> yeah. I feel like she I'm would. Pretty sure I just wanted to set the stage cool before race. I went ahead and, and did that. Just, so. Has she briefed me? Yeah. Did actually, I brief what was that? them on has what we're here to me? do? Yes. Oh. I, okay. I, I yeah, mean, I know. Yo, well, Puddle. Um, okay, do you, you want to? We wanna... received some odd Because I think orders. I would have assumed this happened outside or down the hallway. Yeah. Sure. It's completely fair. If you, yeah, yeah if, if, if we want to back up for a second. And I rescued her and took her, like, near dead. Caught her burning body. Yeah, caught her burning, burning body. That's his fault. I'm sorry? Compo I, I, I got you. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I also feel like I, I left before the, the bigger action, right? Because I took her yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. You oh, swaddled our, our, me. Our yeah. bridge, our bridge showdown. Yeah, I was gone. I'm sure you got briefed yeah. on it though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I told you all about it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just checking. Yep. All down in the bar after yeah. the last. Day. <laughs> I told you all about it. You were like 80 drinks in and still very sober. <laughs> yes. What what, 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 what would drink. rock people drink? I don't know. There are plenty liquor. of secrets. Light of fluid. Light of fluid. <laughs> to still be yeah. unraveled. How do I get drunk? Ten. Hey, have you tried lighter fluid? <laughs> okay, although uh, if so you guys- So Lubin's gonna run a composure check uh, just to understand whether or not uh, she handles this news uh, in particular, particular ways. you know, gracefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The news um, that- I think, I think Syra, since there wasn't in, like actual like trauma put on you, you you roll however, I mean, you, you can, you know, react to this however you sort of see the character react. Okay, it's, it's really... and trepidatious. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> like, Ca cautiously level-headed. Exactly. Classic. Classic, Classic Syrah. Classic Syrah. Classic Syrah. <laughs> Six. Wow, okay. <clears throat> um, so that's a medium success. Uh, you are pretty, you, you're, I mean, that, that essentially lets you off the hook of, of being too like freaked out and stressed out about mm -hmm. this. At least play outwardly. It. Yeah, play it how you play it. Okay. Uh, so I had a word with you guys where oh. I relayed that I have a really, weird order from the Paka. And mm -hmm. you know that I speak openly in front of you, but but we haven't worked together long. It, I'm still getting used to the command structure and dealing directly with the Paka, and sometimes they tell you weird things. And uh, the good news is, Major Kroll is not our science officer anymore. Nice. So I oh, won't have um, to have that HR talk with him. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> not relevant, but quick question, has he been told yet? And 
like, do you need someone to do that? Because, I mean, <laughs> like, if he freaks out or whatever, I, I, mean, I can handle it. Like, no pressure. You're, you're the captain. But, you know, if someone needs to tell him that he's fired, <laughs> I just, I'm just putting my name out there. As my security officer, if you want to, um, that actually, Lubin, I think letting him know would be cool. part of your job, but you helped me manage the crew. So I mean, if you don't want to, because, I mean, you're I'm going through a lot right now, so I can, I can take care of that. Good friend. Uh, I, yeah. I know this man quite well. I think it best if it comes from me. Major Crow? Fine. I worked with him before. <laughs> Cyrus, Cyrus sulks into the coil. Uh, <laughs> big, big, big uh, so I'm only like 10 feet tall. Exactly. The rump shakes the room. Lubin, I have to ask you something. Yes, Captain. Pretty serious. <clears throat> Can you serve with our new guest? I'm sorry, what? This might be a good idea. He's our new science officer. Yeah, I'm gonna be the first one to say I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but... <laughs> but you Are you insane? Yeah. It's... He set this... me on fire. I know. I don't understand why... I just spent the last three hours regrowing the skin on the entire side of my back. I know, I'm so sorry. But you know the Paka. We committed to the peacekeep, we committed to these ideals, and we are under their leadership. Do whatever you Will say, Captain, you but... you keep an eye on him? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna just... at least two. It? Him? We should find out if they have genders. Yeah, let's make that one of many questions we should probably ask. Uh... I still haven't decided, and your advice would be welcome, Yeah. whether to make public to the rest of the crew that this is a PACA order, <clears throat> or just declare him our new science officer and hope that people will trust it as part of my leadership. Okay, question to you Ooh. then. Do, does the rest of the crew know that he, like, set Lulu on fire? No, <laughs> generally... Let's ask let's ask let's Rick really did coolant. tell everyone in the bar. Yeah. Ge ge generally, the... Uh, the way that this works is like it's kind of a need to know basis on this okay. stuff. It's 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 like any sort of military command structure. So they know what they need to know, which is generally that there was a refugee. He did attack the party, but that the party, the 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 landing party, the rescue party, the rescue party managed to subdue him, and that it turned out to maybe be something of a misunderstanding, and that that that's sort of what they know. Um, beyond that, certainly, I think the question of whether or not this comes from the Paka or comes from the captain is a big question in terms of how this is addressed to the crew. I mean, on the one hand, like probably mysterious Paka orders come in all the time. I that that is correct. Mm -hmm. Their 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 ways are often mysterious and inscrutable. This is particularly mis mysterious and inscrutable. Sure but, is. Yeah, uh, but th th this is kind of their way of it. it. There is something to be said for the idea, um, and uh, you know, I, I could just as easily sort of say this as Stu that like it's often that we receive the kind of orders that go against our basic instincts, that go against what we as Kirei might do or what you as a human might do. But what I've found is that more often than not, the Paka know us better than we know ourselves, know what we need better than we know, and certainly know the galactic context better than we do. If they're keeping a secret from us, it's to protect us, to keep us safe, and to enable us later. Uh, I trust the Paka implicitly, um, despite their ways. I mean, you learn this about humans. We don't always trust so much. Yeah. But do we not? Let's not us forget what happened to the last crew he was a part of. Hmm. Well, they were holding him as a slave and going to sell him. They to were him locking him away and did not let him out. <laughs> they did not and let him there. build. <laughs> what happens when they we did give not him let him? He'll deal with this with you in a minute, <laughs> Captain. What happens when we give him a command that he doesn't agree with? We don't know how he'll react. Well, I'm a lot bigger than he is. Like we can deal with it. Um, if he's going to be a science officer, he's, he's going to follow of. the rules of our ship. How do we know that? We have to trust the Paka. Trusting the Paka and trusting that thing are very different things. I think if you tell the ship that this is your idea, it will make you look questionable. Um, they're used to strange missives and orders from the Paka, but 
I mean, you're right. Open all respect. Better... You're a new captain in the situation, and and I would, yeah, I would, I would put it on them. Cause I mean, if it goes wrong, you know, then it's off your back. You've been on this ship a long time. You know many of these crew better than I do. Yeah. I also know that if you do a command without saying you support it, might not be the best thing for the crew. Well, you can say that it comes from the Paka, but that you stand by it. That kind of gives everybody equal blame. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> Just feels like it's what I would do. But again, yeah, Captain. I'm afraid I can't give you good advice on this one. But will you help me? You are my XO. I will do what you command, but I don't agree with this. Well, then. You... I trust business. you, I don't trust him. You don't have to trust him. But war. I like the him. idea that he's just standing right next to us <laughs> <laughs> to this whole conversation. This whole we were in the hall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, not not there. I'm, I'm, I'm assembling we're, my we're, pillow fort. Yeah, he, he's assembling <laughs> the pillow fort. Stu is just leaning against the wall being sassy. I'm just <laughs> letting you guys Stu's have this sassy. conversation. Love Stu. Sassy Stu. Sassy, sassy Stu. Stu. Well, I mean, Captain, you, uh... So I think you're the captain. Is that yeah. essentially decided? Yeah. Um, well, no. Sorry, I can't make that choice. I think, I mean, I think... We'll work with him and keep my eye on him. Yeah, I think Leuven's position is clear. Going yeah, along with the order kidding. and never letting that guy out of his sight. Or out of her sight. Which seems like the logical move. Yeah, I just um, want to, like, make an aside to Lulu that's like, listen... As you guys are walking down the hallway, at, like, literally as the captain and Stu are walking into the thing... To do the thing, I'd be like, moment. listen... I don't know if I trust this decision either. I saw what he did to you. Not everybody was there. But if this goes sideways, I promise it'll be worse for him than it was for you. And then I walk out of the way because I'm uncomfortable with my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> she finds the nearest wolf and punches it really hard to prove that she feels the revenge. I'm so tough. Oh, I'm so tough. I don't feel things. She says like air boxing. Also, um. This is a sec My second aside. Can yeah. I roll to have secretly been feeding the wolves since we got here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Xenozoology <laughs> oh, yeah. To try and get them on um, my side. <laughs> so uh, this this is something uh, I had a feeling was coming. Uh, yeah. We are gonna, this is a uh, Xenozoology roll. <laughs> I think we all rolled Wait, this, right man. Now? I for sure wanted some of this action, too. Yeah. Wow, all right, so. Oh, no, we're all doing this. So, <laughs> can you all have run into each other simultaneously sneaking into the wolves? Secretly feeding the wolves. The wolves. Like, all oh. three of you arrived? Yeah. So, yeah. There, so there were five, there were five uh, wolves that you guys brought up. Wow, that's such a perfect amount. Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. Uh, okay, this is yeah. straight up Game of Thrones shit. Of us. Uh, that so if, I, I, I really didn't mean for this to happen. <laughs> Did uh, you bring me so I, if, well I know. So <laughs> if you, um, so so how many of you are gonna show up? Uh, I can't show you're, up. You but you're can't. locked in your room. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I was in a hospital bed. Can she bring me the wolves? Nah. As like a bedside thing? That would be I, a wild animal. I fed them vicious. and told them it was for me. You. you had, you had, you had your brother. Yeah. <laughs> your brother was, your brother was a comfort animal. That's it. No yeah, one else I visited. visited me. No. I visited. I okay. I visited. By yourself, okay, not well, with the animals. So, uh, so we, you, you hung out with the wolves. Yeah, for you sure. hung out with the wolves. Uh -huh. Yeah. So Syra, Rake, you guys both hung out with the wolves. Captain yeah. Bard, I think you've been a little busy. Yeah. Hang out with wolves. I mean, I make sure they're taken care of, but I, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. You, 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 you don't have any ranks in Xenozoo. Anyway. Yeah, in order to do this, because really? yeah. like I've she smashed one. two of them together. They just knocked them out. Yeah. Non-lethal smashing. It was non All of the punching was non-lethal damage. I'm extremely good at violence. Actually, that's actually a general rule in Vast. Um, when you're when you're doing damage with your fists, it is non-lethal unless you like call it out as being like so like lethal. I you have to choose to kill something with your yeah. fists. You don't like do it by accident. I punch them in their knockout spot. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You hit and them in the yeah. Yeah. oblongata. It's, it's this little <laughs> area right near their like back leg and the butt. You're you just, like, very calculated spin. punch. I did not. I did <laughs> not <laughs> injure them. Spin of wolves. Um, all right. So uh, you can only do this if you have a rank in xenozoology. Syra, you have a two. Rake, you do not have a rank. So I can't so I let you do that. Hung out with them and was like, um, yeah. yeah, the only people who can do this are Luvin and Cyrus. So do you guys want to uh, bond to some wolves? Yeah. Yep. Wait, wasn't she bedside? I thought you, I thought no, you said I couldn't she because I was in the freaking hospital. You were in the hospital. I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with you having left the hospital. And I can read wolves. about them. Yeah. It's been a week. You've had a week. This is yeah. what we yeah. did I together when I would come to visit. I yeah, would wrap you up the hospital and you guys went to go get wolves together. And I was like, please give me all the information of the wolves. Oh my God, I kind of look. Yeah. I brought you chicken soup. I've been reading this book all about wolves. I've been reading this book all about wolves. Oh, 
Yeah. Um, all right, great. I'm going to volunteer to bring you the books and wolves. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so this is the you know, zoology roll. I'm going to put together your macro really fast. Our ship is very different so than excited. the other ship. <laughs> I know. Trying to tame like, wolves. Friendly. Like, we got all of our everything. pets. They're like, how much blood can we shed What did you today? do in your episode, Bob? We got some pets and we made a pillow fort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, in space, yay. <laughs> You're really sticking we to that Peasky hands. brand, you guys. Yeah. You are definitely the lovely. Yeah, you know what? I, I actually was just getting drunk at the bar with like everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm, every, everyone? I've generally been having sex with all the humans and like things. Like 25% of so the 2,000 people already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're already working 25. your way through the crew. I mean, I've had some sex with the total have you licked? For oh. sure. Oh, we'll, we'll just. Assume that. I'm not going to make you roll for that. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Okay, okay. Need to roll. Uh, guys, uh, yeah, Xenozoology rolls. Leuven, you are going to roll nine for Xenozoology. Hey. Syrah, uh, because you do not have the benefit of pheromones, you're going to roll five. Nice. Wait, hold on a second. I have a I one in five. pheromones. Can I just like pretend that I didn't level up that pheromone <laughs> one and, and I got Xenozoology instead? <laughs> I'm not no, let you trade no, out a point no, in the middle no, of the no, game. No, I'm no, sorry. No, I, no, I, 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 I forgot I, about I, the wolves. I, <laughs> you said nine, yeah? the wolves. I said nine. Okay. Yeah. Come on, we're coming. Uh, this, is, this, is a, this is a pretty easy check. You just need to get a minor success on this. Boink. Oh, no. no are we combined? Uh, no, you are individual. Shit. Smash them. Visit them again next I week. only got a two. Oh, no. Well, that's still a fail, but... I got a four. She got a four. I'm really so, good at learning. Yeah. So you guys walked in. Um, I, Leuven, you were uh, pretty, like, they, they all seemed immediately hostile to Syrah, possibly because she spent oh, a lot of time punching them. Oh, because I punched them? them? Yeah. Um, that makes sense. Uh, they're, they're, they're a little grabby, <laughs> a little scared. Of that. Why don't they like me? Uh, but Lulu, you, you, had a, you sort of walked into the middle of the wolves and sat down and kind of just, like, released a whole set of just, like, it was the first time you've used your pheromones since the repair, and they can't sense any difference so they uh oh, just sort of like they don't judge you they, don't, the cat, so the they just sort of surrounded you. you they don't judge you no. i just like stood on the edge of the room and was like i feel like this is awakening something in me and i can't figure it out <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile syra thought These to herself someday I actually might really want a wolf friend <laughs> uh cool i'm gonna so, come back um i'll come back uh and you can definitely do that they're just hanging out in a cargo hold um Leuven. Yeah. We are going to give you an animal companion. Yeah. Oh, what? Yay! Ugh. Horseshit. Um, Never mind. I'm for, not her friend anymore. For now, uh, for now, said animal companion is going to be pretty weak uh, because okay you've that. only done an, a really initial bonding with it. So they haven't quite broken it in yet. So it is sad. definitely gonna poop everywhere. I was gonna add willpower to that. It's and not gonna. It's, you, you can't. You're not gonna be able to like poop it use everywhere. it too much. But it'll I just be want there. To pet it. You can definitely pet it. Are they it. like Paca Roombas that like, <laughs> um, and uh, it'll, She's it'll be, already leaving fur everywhere. Think about, you think, know she has a plan over the course it. of this thing, think about naming it. It's not gonna walk around with you yet. No, that's okay. It's just gonna be hanging out there like in a zoo. I'm coming back okay. to this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, okay, we'll so, with that said, all right, so you got some wolves, you broke the bad news. <laughs> Fast forward to yeah. now. <laughs> All right. You're in the room. There's a pillow fort. Good ideas on it. Stu's just giving you the room. Captain Bard, you have some orders to relay. Uh, Stu is still here. Yeah, yeah. Stu's on the. Okay. Uh, Stu's over on the side. He'll be hanging out. <laughs> I'm just declaring. Yeah. Oh, Stu's still here. On behalf of the NPC. Thank you. Uh. Uh. This might be a good idea. How would you like to get out of this room? Oh, I would like that very much. We do not know each other well. We do not know your species well. It's true, it's true. But I have been speaking with our Pakha representative, who, as you may have learned from talking to Stu, helps to guide our actions in the peacekeep. Your omniscient overseer, your mother. I'm sorry? Your mother. The central command presence that issues all orders through your concordance. Fascinating. Stu looks over. It would appear they have some kind of governmental head known as the Mother. Uh, the Pakov heard bits and pieces of it here and there. I always kind of thought it was just rumors. It's odd for a warrior society to be matriarchal. You don't see that that often. But <laughs> good idea. Did you just start openly laughing? I love Stu oh, yeah. a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stu's, oh, yeah. Stu's the idea, amazing. The idea that you wouldn't have a warrior race led by a woman? <laughs> well. Oh, I love the stew. More time with stew, please. Always. <laughs> ah. More time with stew. Which is it's why I'm so excited to follow you. 
There is a way that you can help us. Do you possess much knowledge of the sciences? <laughs> oh, I do science very well. Would you accept a position as the new science officer of our vessel? Hmm, 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 hmm. Gold blooming. Uh oh, he's gold blooming. <laughs> <laughs> and you would know from gold blooming. I believe. Are you there? You're not there. I'm not, no. man. I'm, I don't know what I'm Rake's, Rake's drinking at the bar. The, yeah. No, there Rake, was you're flying the ship. There was oh, okay. something <laughs> mentioned. Please, God. Can I do Someone is flying the ship, right? Please. There was something Too mentioned much. by a crew member of yours, a rather clever cat. Something about payment. I'm intrigued by this. What is this payment? And how can I get it? Uh, members of our service are rewarded with currency. Uh, currency. I am <laughs> uninterested in currency. I'm interested in things. Oh. Currency can be exchanged for things. Cut out the middleman, just give me things. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Perhaps, just a good life motto. Perhaps. Yeah, I love that. This, this will not work for me. I cannot help you if I'm dressed in tattered rags. I need something. Mmm. Mmm. Sleek, like this ship, but in clothing coverings. We'll be very pleased. We can make all of these arrangements, but before we can mm. make this official, this might be a good idea. Mm. Yes? Are you willing to abide by our rules and systems in the way that is necessary to do this job? Oh, interesting. For instance, any future attempts to harm your crewmates would be strictly forbidden. Oh, I have no interest in harming my crewmates. In fact, in fact, I believe I owe one of your crewmates a, um, in your tongue, I believe it is an apology. Uh, Lulu? Commander Lubin Yuchelmur. But she will be sorry, one of your dot. superiors. Come right. right. That's cool, I'm still getting used to it too. Of course, but, but her friends call her Lulu, yes? You are not my friend. I fervently hope to one day earn that honor, and it is with my sincere apology that I scalded your fur and skin with hateful, hateful coolant. It was not my intention <laughs> to ruin your feline complexion. I can tell that you value your appearance greatly. Oh, buddy. And. I would never wish to do something like that to you ever again. And I offer my sincere apologies. You talk a lot, don't you? <laughs> I do. All uh, right, so roll 13. This is a social convince. Lulu. Uh huh. <laughs> so normally your social defense is 10. I'm gonna bolster it by five dice okay. for the context by which we are doing this roll. So roll 15, please. Wait, are we back? Okay. We're what still in the that? room? Yeah, they're in the room. We zoomed forward to the room again. Yes. Sorry. Am I in the room? Yes. Yeah, you came with them. You were in oh. the room <laughs> and you are listening in on the room. Oh, you no. basically Wait, like, you are? yeah, he has wired the computers on his helm to listen in. He did I'm a silent sorry. roll while what? you were doing that. Yeah. Creep. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> cool. Also, Rick has really high stats in computers, yeah. subterfuge, larceny, and stealth. That's not the part of this that I'm confused by. <laughs> is this including my worm tongue? Oh, uh, let's make sure it is. I believe it is. It is. Uh, oh, okay. Yep. I had a question. Uh, this is just so you're aware, Colin. This is I'm a combination of your wits, your manipulation, your expression, and your persuasion. I'm sorry. No. That number's wrong. Hold on. Apologies. Uh, I needed to add your. I needed to sub out your persuasion for your intimidation because now you're being persuady rather than intimidating, which is what you're doing in the last game. Uh, you are 15. Yeah. Against a 15 defense. So hey, it's a totally even social check. <gasps> Let's see how his uh, warm tonguey apology goes. 
I'm calling bullshit on this uh, galactic rare warrior matriarchy thing because gender just doesn't even make sense off our planet, so whatever. It's actually a relatively good point. The key Ray have by are, are bi gendered. Yeah. Um like and we we've kind of experienced that with Raken Leuven, so I'm sort of assuming he's coming from a Kurei context. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. sense. I, mean, um, you can I didn't that. call bullshit in the room. I just it's no, no, no. It's, it's 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 worth talking about. I, I you know in the moment you kind of make these like yeah. larger galactic assumptions, but as soon as you start dealing with larger sci-fi concepts, you're right. A lot of this st stuff starts to fall apart. We'll I love fine. having those conversations. They're what make the Star Trek game take a lot. I'm gonna make this game because you sit there talking about like. You like, should, you I, should, I don't think Klingon hierarchy me. makes sense. You should okay. ask me because I have very strong feelings about uh, gender and, um, I, and. I like and that you think it's ridiculous are, that there wouldn't be major. What are our numbers societies. like? That's a good thing. Uh, uh, all right, let's start with our uh, defense. Leuven? Seven. Good idea? <laughs> Five. Yes. Oh. Uh, Five. He, he does not <laughs> convince you mechanically. So oh. you can roll through however you want to roll through this. You're a full success above him, so it's it's your action. And I've hopped down off my furniture throne. How tall are you? I was actually going to ask if I can uh, move the ship so he would fall off. I'm uncertain. That'd be pretty hard to do. Yeah. You don't know his. I think I'm tallish. Okay. But at the moment, I am not tallish because I am like full on, like apologize. Yeah, he's a, he's, he's, he's about six feet. A like, spindly six. But how tall are you? You're tall. Think of his dimensions I'm as like being those human. of like. Okay. Think of his dimensions as being uh, uh, those of like Doug Jones. I'm like figure. eight or nine yeah. feet. Yeah. Yeah. You're all I'm huge, and I'm yeah. normal size. I'm a giant. By yeah. the way, Doug, if we ever make a vast movie, I think you're playing a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. I've been trying to cast him in stuff since like college. He's like my favorite. Why human. wouldn't you? Uh, why? Yeah. Why indeed? He's perfect. Yeah, just get a hug from mm. Doug Jones someday. Every person should. It's the greatest. This hug is why the Jones? game takes ten hours. Yeah. Yeah. Hug <laughs> Jones. <laughs> all right. Sorry. <laughs> Moving on. Sir, you speak of apologies and you do the gestures, but as you said before, you don't understand, so how could you possibly be sincere? You are mimicking our behavior. Uh, I am new to your world. If I cannot learn through mimicking, well then I suppose I'll just have to learn through sincere engagement. Please allow me to learn how to do this better. I will follow your lead, and if I ever do so wrong to you again, you let me know. And I promise I will not overstep that boundary ever again. I'm sure For you somebody will let you know. And you alone. Sorry, <laughs> 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 I'm sure somebody I said nothing more. I turn away. Uh, As Steve? my first officer, you will be answering to Lubin, so I appreciate your willingness to work with her. Of course, Captain. And learn from her. Of course, Ooh. Captain. Keep your promise. Now that that is settled, there's a little bit of business that we need to address before we proceed. See, up to this point, you've been, I'm, I'm Stu right now, that's why I'm doing this like sassy thing. Yeah. Uh, up until this point, you've been confined to quarters, good idea. Now, obviously in your new role, that will no longer be possible. However, peacekeep regulations give the captain the option of fitting you with a security anklet. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's an unremovable anklet that's Constantly monitoring your position, and if necessary, can remotely disable you with a mild, with a stun pulse. Anyway, since the Paka has given us no guidance Even at this point, uh, it is at the captain's discretion uh, whether or not we're going to use this. And the other officers here can offer her any guidance that they might uh, want to give. Captain, the floor is yours. Would you like us to guard against him, or... Let him go free as a gesture of goodwill. Captain, I will follow any order that you give. Can I calm in on her? Can I calm in? Like, can I calm? Yeah, her? I mean, you yeah, you, have, you have patched into the room calm. So awesome. wait, you would <laughs> you would you can calm directly to the captain if you want. Or I'm you gonna can calm just directly calm to the, the captain. Just okay. Directly. Yeah. So, so rake rake to burn. I'm just gonna say uh, if he. If you don't put him under arrest and some, if you don't put that inkling on him and he oversteps his bounds, I will kill him. Rick? <laughs> Excuse me. Stepping out into the hallway. Rick, I'm sorry, what? You heard what I said. He steps his, he oversteps his bounds, I will kill him personally. How do you know Ow. what I'm doing Ow. right now? I cut, I cut communication off. the second off. person that's Oh my gosh. That's it. I, I just cut communication off and I continue to watch. I come back listen. to Rick. Rick. <clears throat> I'm listening to 
awesome mix of tape volume one from <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> what I'm doing right now. You do not have access to that. Come and get <laughs> your <laughs> love is what I'm listening to right now. A calm version of that. Yeah. Whatever. Plurk, Um But unfortunately, uh, she's the captain. Yeah, she's so I, I it's gonna hear. it's gonna yeah. calm in no matter what. Rick. But he can choose to ignore it. I can choose not to ignore it, yeah. yeah. Sorry. No, you're right. Rick. How are you aware of what we were just talking about? Mr. We will discuss this. <laughs> um, can I hear that? No, I meant. Uh, roll for perception. Not shouting. I hope. Roll for perception. You just talk, just, just talking to your comms thing out the hallway. Yeah. I'm also gonna uh, put in a. Uh, vote I mean, he did for say that lit. before you left, but yeah, did I? When he said he calmed to me, I wasn't sure if that was supposed to be something only I could hear. Or no, yeah. they uh, uh, comms work. Uh, Yes, I'm sorry. Comms work on an ear-to-ear -ear basis. They're yeah. like PvP. So if if he's talking, like if you were talking to him, the rest of the bridge isn't hearing the conversation yeah. unless you're putting it on the room. Comms. And if he was talking to me, only I heard that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay. Colin. I probably sorry. Didn't good hear idea. That, but I might have heard it. Uh, I might. Wits, I'm uncertain how good my hearing is. I just mysteriously stepped out into the hallway, so that probably would make you like wits, alert. But did you say his name out loud before you? Walked into the hall? I think I may have. Good idea. Shouted. Please. Uh, because technically, well, let's see what you do. I'm not going to remember, guys. <laughs> yeah, did you remember? Did she yell? Three. Like she did go yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, she did. Okay, did. so I'm also going three? to listen. Uh, can. You can see through the wall using your oh. visor contacts. Oh. Um, just enough that you can see like can her I shadow moving her around and her being angry, but you can't hear what she's saying. Ah. Uh. I mean, can I eavesdrop a little? Uh, <laughs> like she shouted my brother's yeah. name. Um, go ahead and roll your perception. Which is? Uh, that is your... I don't really care. <laughs> I think you should just put the anklet on and we should move on. Yeah, do on. that. Yeah. yeah, do that. You don't have very high Electric perception, shock. unfortunately. I like the Lugan. sound of that. Um, I'm going to get my brother to hack into that a few times a night. What? Your perception is five, Leuven? <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna hear anything. <laughs> so yeah, it would be pretty hard for you to 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 I'm make. I'm still gonna like, try. You, yeah. <laughs> that's what I would do. All right. Let's just do it. Whoa! Oh well, I got three out of five. Still a three. So it's I a, know. Yeah. I uh, you 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 hear her shouting loudly, but you don't actually hear the thing. <laughs> um, okay, so Captain, you come back in the room. Captain, of course. I'm Bard comes back in looking. Visibly a little angry. I'm more than happy to follow any lead that you and your wisdom uh, deploy against me. I know I've made mistakes. Um, a person as fair as yourself certainly treats all contentious officers aboard your ship. Um, anyone who would break orders from you or threaten you or tell you what to do, I'm sure they all are treated equally under your magnanimous guidance. <laughs> this wow. might be a good idea. That's very kind of you to assume so. Uh, this I guy learned how to apologize yesterday, and he already nailed yeah. flattery. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm very pleased to hear your willingness to learn our ways and to cooperate with us. Of course. I think as we begin this process, we will use the bracelet. I, I haven't had cause to use it as a captain before, but I've dealt with it many times. Uh, I look forward to a time when it will not be necessary mm -hmm. for our trust and connection with you. As do I. As do I. You willingly submit to the bracelet? I willingly submit to the bracelet. But we will see about that suit you want. You okay. Want Stu walks you up. Like suits. Stu walks up and uh, asks for your leg. Puts the ankle on. Yeah. Can it be an arm instead? That's a, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ankle bracelet. Okay. Uh, he puts it on, and uh, and then looks at you. I'll have a uniform for you in the morning. No, 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 no! Did not say uniform. Not one of these beautiful though they are. Couture, stylish. I've seen something. Seer Adventures. I believe I've seen something in there in the uh, in the catalogs. Something thin and stylish. Yeah, I'll work on that for you, model. <laughs> and he wide he steps out, Captain. Unless you have anything more, I'd really like to give my eyes a rest. This uh, guy has been really running me through the motions. And then all of a sudden, at thank that for, moment. Thank you for pro using my proper pronoun. You, you are both cut off by uh, a massive jolt okay. that, throws, okay. that throws all of you in the room. 
It's like it's like a, a the whole room kind of lurches suddenly. Uh, and outside, because there's a window right in this room, outside that window, you see the stars are suddenly coursing by at crossing speed. You had been previously at impulse, or at uh, 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 relative speed. Break! Uh, <laughs> uh, Captain Bard, you get a call from the bridge. Captain, you better get up here. On my way. Rake, moments earlier, you were on the bridge, you were piloting the ship, you were working on the computers, all of that. Everything seemed cool when suddenly the engine kicked into maximum crossing speed, what? completely without being ordered to do so. Do I know where it's going? Uh, you, I, you were on course into the brightest eye, so you are still on course into the brightest eye. You're just on, you know, now you're, you were on relative course, now you were on crossing course. Um, what? Yeah. Uh, you were alone on the bridge. What do you do? Oh, you're not alone on the bridge, but you're, you're the only person on that thing. The, uh, uh, Crow, who is standing at his science station still, uh, turns to you. What is the meaning of this? Did you show more? I don't know. I wasn't doing anything. I was just sitting here. I, I, it, was, it wasn't me. I don't know. Just, well, where are we going? I have no idea. I thought you did it. Wait, what is happening to my ship? Oh, no, I'm sorry. He's not there. I shouldn't, I, oh, I shouldn't have said there? that. No, no, no. Crow's not there. Is he not? No, because Crow was um, relieved Fire. of duty. Why are you doing it? It would make sense that he's still there. No, Crow, Crow's been relieved of duty. Um, There is Great. a... Murder. Crow. Uh, well, you, I, call, uh, I call them. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. No, no, no. That's okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I, just, I, I call just generally to the captain, uh, and I, I'm just like, hey, uh, captain. Uh, Rake, what is happening on my ship? Uh, uh, everything's okay. Uh, we're all good here. Except uh, we're going really fast and I didn't do that. I don't know what's happening to your ship. What do you mean you didn't do that? I don't know. It just started moving really fast. We're in, we're in crossing drive. I don't know how to stop it. Let's get to the Well, bridge. figure it out. I'm on my way. What do you want me to do? Do you know how to work the ship? <laughs> <laughs> what Why the hell did I do? Do you want to investigate the problem, yeah, maybe? Yeah, of course, yeah. All right. Uh, so let's uh, let's do. This is a computer's roll, so fifteen, Breaks? please. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> is there a How do you stop? Not go. I'm sure I tried the brakes already, guys. Thanks. <laughs> what is your brother Pretty doing? Sure. I told you this was always a bad idea. Assume a uh, assume a Karay, uh science officer who's manning the science station sure. until the replacement. Remember the time you talked me out of a bad idea and it actually worked? No, right? We went to college together and never ever did you ever talk me out of a bad idea? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm really sorry Six. about that. Yeah. Six. No bad okay. ideas. <laughs> bad, bad, bad uh, idea. Good idea. It takes you a moment to realize that the ship is no longer being guided by the computer and will have to be flown manually. Oh my okay. god. Uh, in that, worry, something has like severely broke on the ship's engines. Holy shit. In that moment, the proximity alarm warns of incoming space debris. <gasps> womp, womp, womp. Gi 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 I'm so sorry if we all die right now. <laughs> I take a <laughs> giant you swig of alcohol. Break. A very Can heavy I... dose of the juice. You take a heavy dose of the juice. <laughs> Done. Can I ask a qu question? Absolutely, go for it. Um, do we have any, I, I don't know if this is what's happening, obviously, I don't know what anything is happening. But It's all right, um, you were just distilled down in that room. Right, do we have any knowledge of like the Paka having like a, an override? Like when you're a oh, driving this student? Be like a yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I imagine oh, yeah, that, yeah. that would totally be a thing. That, yeah. Sorry, uh, what was that? Do do the do we have any knowledge of the Paka having like the ability to override and control the ship on their own? Yes. Okay. Uh, in fact, it's generally thought of as something that the Paka can do if and when they want to do it. Okay. It's not um it's not common. Yeah. Uh, normally, that kind of thing is allowed uh, is it, and, and normally um it's uh, told to you by the okay. Paka. The Paka would say, "I'm overriding," or at least oh, would yeah. send a text to the captain. Sure. The fact that okay. there's been no. Not even an emoji. And no emojis from nope. the Maka. Not even an emoji not from the Maka. Okay, can we that. can we text them some question marks? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can you, you send you send a message to the Maka? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. You receive nothing. Oh. Great. Never mind. I'm, I'm um, manual. On that on that space debris, I need you to roll a piloting roll. Great. Uh, great. Hi. Hold oh, on a second. Uh, that is a twelve. Twelve. Me. That's yes. Um, Made from your wits, your dexterity, like your helm drive, and oh, we're gonna add your fast I'm reflexes gonna to this. Oh, yes. So he's now 14. Yes. Sure. That's a new upgrade. Rake added fast reflexes to his game between this one and uh, between the last nice. one and this. Oh, nice. uh, which is a, uh, a bolster that hits him in specific moments where he needs good reflexes, like this one. Six. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, six. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
the uh, it is a it is a series of um, uh, of incoming uh, essentially asteroids. Like you just like plummeted through an asteroid belt. Your deflector shields take care of most of this, pushing a lot of it out of the way. Yeah. Um, your quick thinking, flipping the ship over, takes care of a lot of it. But one of the smaller uh, bolides essentially smashes through uh, part of the uh, 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 sort of the hull of your ship, doing one damage to hull. Guys, the ship was hit. Shields and hits your. Oh, oh God. <laughs> there you go. Yes, please do this every time your ship is hit. It's That's important. the way to do it. Uh, I'm gonna bring up the Avalon and make sure that I take care of your. Okay, so your hull is down by one, leaving you at four hull. Okay. Uh, at this moment, contract? Captain Bard, Commander Leuven, and Lieutenant Syra, and surprisingly to you, Rake, new, ch or I guess not that surprising because you did hear it. We yeah, we're still talking about that, New by Chief the way. Science Officer, good idea. Charge onto the bridge with purpose. Captain Bard, your ship is at crossing speed, heading through an asteroid belt. Go. <laughs> Rake, no, what have you got no for me? What's happening? I'm dodging. Can you, do you know our computer systems? Yes. Oh boy. Uh, can you <laughs> Where the hell is Crow? Uh, uh, the the uh, the uh, uh, the curay looks the curay looks at you kind of uh, sideways, but knows what's up, and s steps away yeah, from like, the console, kind of looking. Mm, okay, yeah. Yes, Lulu, I'm sorry. Okay. I need you. I know. So good I know. idea. You step onto the science console. Hell yeah. Okay. I help. Uh, and what are you trying? What are you? What exactly are you guys trying to do? Is there anything he can? I want to check on uh, like what's coming at us, or if. Even better if you can help figure out what's going on with their engines. I want to do a diag. I want to run a diagnostic on the ship's engines to check to see if there's any outside or internal yeah. malfunctioning going yes. on. Yeah. Someone man some guns where and fire yeah. some of those, some of those uh, asteroids just, as we're going. I'm just uh, letting then, everybody uh, get through their Luke, stuff. Did you say you wanted to help uh, yeah, him with I'm this? I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm like, all right. So the yeah. two of you both head to the science station. Oh, we're yeah. friends now. Oh, it's excellent. Animal. Our first adventure together. Yeah. Would I know? Just can I work. Can I yes. call out for guns and ask? Can like, I? Is that a thing? Can I do some One, stuff? One hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. If this I do pride. sort of like a, a, is it a lot of small asteroids or is it? Yes. Like, okay. Can I do sort of that? I don't know the names of everything yet. No, but it's like fine. Scatter, you know what are called scatter beams. Scatter They're beams. Specifically for this. They're yeah. like ways <laughs> that allow for exactly asteroids? this kind of target. Yeah. Yes. Can I be rocking those guys? You absolutely can. Um, we are going to each roll this in order. Okay. So okay. we're going to start with the engineering roll. We're gonna, gonna roll for that. You've already rolled for pilot. Cool. Um, so let me give you some numbers really fast and then we'll get this going. Captain, in the meantime, just make sure you figure out what you wanna do next. And uh, we've got no for you an engineering that. diagnostic. I figure it's like when when you're at your computer and then like the tech guy is there to do it and you're like, yeah. oh, just, like no, 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 that, that one, one, that one. That just button. try there. I think like, I overhear you say that. I just look at you and I go, yeah, I tried that. Okay. Nope, nope. This is a combined. Uh, this is a combined roll. You guys are doing this together, so I'm going to combine your successes. Uh, good idea. You are doing this for nine. And Leuven. I upped all my investigation and science. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, that's not. That's not correct. No. You're going to roll thirteen. Yeah, I'm science. <laughs> Yay, science! Deploy science. Boy, science. Blind us with science. Don't blind us. This is why I no do the violence. macros, because this is very specifically an engineering diagnostic. So like, it has its own given things. Easy, you know, your Thank intelligence, you. so that means your good academics, me. your field engineering, your How about that? investigation, your... Probably pretty good. I hope so. Uh, 12. Only 12? Yep. Okay. We need some adventure. We did a lot of talking. We did. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I am gonna need that support. Oh. What do we got? Good idea. Five. What do we got, Lulu? I don't know yet. Hang on. Um, oh, four. Oof. A four and a five? Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nine. That's a full success. That's yeah. not in game, though. That was not oh, in game. He <laughs> pulls it back down. Do not high five. He <laughs> puts up a high five and you hiss it. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Just um, raise your hackles like. <laughs> learning. Yeah. The new uh, hairs on the back of my neck stick up. Oh. Okay. That noise that cats make where they're like. Mm. Uh, so as you um, so as you do that, uh, hold on one second. I'm so 
all ready to shoot some stuff. Please shoot the camera. things. Bad at wolves, great at guns. This Wait, next section of the oh, game is actually going to be timed. What? what? I know, right? No, no, what? It's an escape room, but it's an asteroid field. The slow and the furious, the slow and the furious. <laughs> oh, shit. I love it. So, I love it. shoot I love some stuff. Stop Let's talking. Fly better. <laughs> um, you, uh, you get a, uh, a general sense of uh, what is happening with the crossing drive, uh, which is that, yeah, the computer systems glitched. There was like a full-on glitch in the computer systems, which you're catching up on your weapons as well. Um, okay. Your weapons aren't firing as straight as they should, which we're okay. gonna get to in a minute. Ah. Um, as uh, the, the computer glitch has essentially locked uh, the crossing drive at crossing speed uh, for emergency protocols. The ship's emergency protocols have kicked in, uh, which normally only kick in in the uh, uh, account of a, um, of like the, the commander being incapacitated or a battle going particularly badly um, or the Paka overriding the systems. Yeah. So uh, something serious has gone down here uh, and you guys are in uh, a bit of a problem with it. Uh, so that said, you are uh, now in a situation where the, the crossing drive is is you know fundamentally disconnected from the computer systems. Uh, it can be manually shut down uh, if you were in engineering, um, okay. which uh, there are command personnel there, mm -hmm. but they're not gonna be as reliable as any of your bridge officers. So if you guys wanted to make sure this could get done quickly, you can do it, otherwise you can rely on them. It's up to you, Captain. Um, in the meantime, because the ship is sort of constantly taking incoming damage, uh, yeah, we shoot some stuff. We can do that. Yep. I gotta Remember be at least last pretty time good at I went this. To go fix yep. Something in Syrah. This is my this. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's gonna be great. This is. I do more than just punch time. animals. I haven't been there before. It'll be fun. You also shoot things. That's what's on my You're resume. Buried. Yeah. More I'm than glad you added something thing. to ranged combat because this Yay! is technically a ranged combat. Role. Perfect. Wow. I did. Uh, yep. Bolstered that. Is this it weird for you though to be shooting rocks? Ranged combat. I'll deal oh, with that oh, moment. Damn, the existential wow. problem there. I love that. They're different, they're not, and you would know that. They're not flaming rocks. Yeah, they're flaming rocks. Well, they're about to be flaming. I guess. <laughs> not insane. My flame does that thing That's, where it gets like a little blue for a second. Uh, you're it's gonna fine. roll. It's fine. It's fine. It's not that high a roll. You're gonna roll five. What? I know. Um, I so so I'm to explain. You have, a, you have a two in dexterity. You have a one in ranged combat. You have a one in tolerance for chaos that I'm giving you because it's a crazy situation. It is a crazy and game. And you have a one in tactical. situation. Jesus, well, man. Well, this sucks a lot. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> it's okay. The computers are pretty bad anyway. Uh. Oh shit. Whoa. Four. Huh. Four. Nice. Whoa. Damn. Hey, oh. nice. Hey. Um, that's, that's uh, you managed. Uh, you actually managed to blow all of the bull eyes out of the way as you guys make your way through this next field. Um, yeah. But they are not targeting the way that you would like them to be targeted. So okay. like, it's there's clearly something up even with your system. Yeah. Everything's wrong and something needs to get fixed. Wait, can we turn around if we can't stop? We're going at light speed. Or we're going at crossing speed. We're going to turn around. We'll blow up. Yeah. Uh, 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 Captain. Yeah. Um, where are we going? So fast? Oh yeah, would that? The we were headed eye. into the brightest eye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> what did I, the one thing you promised me we wouldn't do. The one thing you promised me we wouldn't do and already you're going back on it. Um, I, I, I don't feel like I need to make you roll composure because you've already <laughs> totally lost your shit. Um, <laughs> But just for my own edification, I'm gonna make you roll for composure, okay? Sure, yeah, totally. All right. <laughs> my shit is losing it. <laughs> shit is lost. Roll eight. Shit is Your composure lost. is eight. Oh man. Uh, one, two, purge. Uh, five. Uh, so yeah, you're you're pretty much losing your shit. I yelled at the captain. Shut him up, or I'll knock him out. Break. Do something helpful. I am! Shut him up so I can drive better! How are we supposed to be going anywhere? We're going back to the place! We're going back to the brightest eye! Oh. Right. Roll 14 for help. We're going back. 14? The mission yep. of the, if the peace keep is to protect folks from the slate. The slate is moving on the brightest eye. The slate is moving on the brightest eye! Everybody shut up! Break! <laughs> Captain, do you want me to go down and try to fix this? Jesus yeah. Christ. Yes, if you can help the engineering, please. We need to shut these engines down. So we do not warp straight. I don't think straight she finishes that sentence. I rolled a two. She didn't finish Great that idea. sentence. Yep. The ship is impacted by two large bolides. One oh, knocks three oh. of your shields down. Oh, crush. The other one takes another off of your hull. The entire room shakes vehemently. 
you guys need to get out of crossing speed or you need to get piloting better or you need to get out of this asteroid field. This is getting bad. Good idea. I need you to get yourself together and you need to come down to engineering with me. We need to fix this. Run. Leuven, roll a social, uh, roll your pheromone call. Okay. Assuming you're, assuming you're, you're using, I, I, I just sort of made an assumption. I'm sorry. No, yeah, uh, I'm gonna start with calming, otherwise I'm gonna intimidate the shit out of you. Okay, great. Start with eight. Start with eight? Yep. What's our current shields and hull total? Uh, you have two shields left and three hull. Not the great. optimal Not a lot. number in either turn? category. No. I'm we're doing the best we I stop. can. We are. Is there any kind of manual override to, like, that's stop? What that's what they're doing. That's, oh, that's, that's what's in engineering. engineering. I, that's what I got yeah. three minor. Uh, so yeah, doesn't do anything. Yep. Then I switch tactics and I grab him by the shoulders and I say, you need to get it together and come downstairs with me. He owes this her is your job. That much. Intimidation roll. This is your presence here. This is actually a really good roll for you. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna prove to me you can, can I, save can this Can I like shit. add my intimidation by turning around and yelling at him? <laughs> if you like. Yeah. yeah. Can I turn around and yell at him? You owe us at least that much. Yeah. Oh you guys don't know my species explode. well, but you probably can get the feeling that I am, unha I am an unhappy camper. Yeah. yeah. I'm relatively, I don't think I have, I don't think I can well, wet because... myself, but I probably <laughs> would be. The only Wedding. way we're going to stop going, the only place you don't want to go is if you help. Syrah, roll good eight point. for intimidation. Leuven, roll 14. Okay. When Leuven gets fierce, she gets scary. And she's gone through a lot lately. Yeah, I got three. Three. Very polite. Yeah. So, you, add a, you, you, you add a single dot. How many did you say? It's still 14. nice just 14? to yell. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Feels good. I'm stressed out. Uh, my guns aren't working. Huh. Bad news. Yeah, I mostly just want to hide and, and die, basically, right Man. now. Oh, no. If you do that, we will end up yeah. at the brightest eye. I, or dead. Dead's yeah. fine. Yeah, Dead's fine. Two of them. Dead, was, dead was my plan before. Eye. Yeah. So, you know. What would you get? That's a lot of damage. Eight. Eight. <laughs> Plus her one. Nice. Nine. That's a nine. Um, okay. So that uh, good idea is enough to, like, get to you. Uh, you are, like, you, you, you're you sort of snapped into uh, authority mode, right? It reminds you of, like, the old authority that you maybe used oh, to answer to. Did I remind your mother? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And, uh, and all of a sudden you sort of snap back in. There's like a minute of silence on the bridge. Commandant Yakjal Moore. Of course, of course. Yes, the bridge, the, uh, the, the, the engine room, the engine room. We should go now, we should go now. Excellent. Why are we waiting? Let's go. Okay, oh, uh, the two of you going? Yeah. Each of you roll speed, please. Speed is uh, under your physical attributes. Meanwhile, Captain, what are you up to? Yeah, what can I do that would be helpful here? Uh, are there like any basic scans that I can do since yeah, you're a science officer? Yeah, you want to you, you want to run a scan? Sure. Yeah, can I, do I mean that? the ship can the ship can essentially do automated scans even shoot, if you I don't have somebody fly. at the science station. Nope, but you can order scans. And if you just scans of like thing. that, what's ahead of us can like I that bolster my my driving, my ability to like it will. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Good, great. Depend, depend again, depending on the roll. Oh, what's your rolls? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna cool. roll your scanners, which are the Starcrosser scanners for ten. Okay. Okay. Uh, I got so a got five for speed, by the way. Four. All right. Um, it's going to take you guys a few turns to get down there. Mm, um, yep. Uh, so with uh, with that in mind, you have a uh, you got a six on those scanners. Mm -hmm. uh, here's what you got. Uh, the area around you, you're past the asteroid field. That's the good news. Okay. Here's the bad news. You are crossing straight into Brightest Eye territory now. Have we gone through the slate? Which nope, means you are about to hit the slate. Uh, this is you know, an exceedingly dangerous thing to do. Um, and generally is something that like, uh, with a with a brightest eye vessel would be, uh, you, you weren't there, you weren't there, you don't know this. <laughs> He's fixing things. Yeah. No, he was fixing things. Oh, I, I like the Jack fix you're just hiding under yeah. the table. I, thought the, I, I literally thought the word slate meant, it meant, made him just go, I'm oh, gone. Yeah. Uh, Back into panic mode. Yeah. Uh, no, we're the, uh, Do you have a shell that you're retreating? Now here, I, have, I do have some good news though. 
Paka vessels are specifically shielded against the slate. Great. It doesn't mean you are immune. It just means you have a really high bolster to dealing with them as okay. opposed to like, say in the last episode with the brightest eye, flying through that was a serious danger for them. Yeah, for but you we guys... also don't have permission to go into this space. I can't just fly into brightest eye space. That's where we were going though, right? That's where it, we were that going. We that were was, but presumably we were gonna do it in a better way. Diplomatic yeah. overtures. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so I'm so... shouting at the computers, is it helping? <laughs> do you want to, do you want to, do you, okay, so you're at crossing speed. You can send out a long range comms beacon, but you can't send point to point comms. So if you want to just put out a general thing saying like for a diplomatic Distress message, if or... that's your issue, you can definitely run that. I, I mean, I definitely don't want what, to arrive. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't know that you want to tell everyone that we're flying through their space at all. That's but they're going to see us. They're not there. They're going to see us. I mean, it's not like they're not going to know, right? We're running. Target. We're running. We can't see nothing. Are we, are we, we're gonna... what, where are we territorially speaking? How close are we to crossing a barrier we should not cross? Very close. Yeah, send yeah. it. Send, send the signal. The, send the thing. Uh, I address whoever's on comms right now. I can now. do it. She's in the engine yep, room. Thanks. So, uh, yeah, thanks. I can't shoot anything right now. I might need, you, I might right need now. you to shoot more things in a second. We're out of the asteroids, so. That's true. I'll be, uh, can you be ready. send a message? Oh, that's hot. Uh, <laughs> Turning that butter. <laughs> this is the Starcrosser Avalon. We are. We are in distress. We've had a ship malfunction. I don't know what else you want to say. No hard feelings, guys. No hard feelings. Yolo. Um, um, Starcrosser Avalon. We are. And that we're not intending to enter the space. We've had a ship malfunction, space. and I intend to leave this space as soon as possible. All right. Don't say distress. Say ship malfunction. Intend to leave as soon as possible. All right. Awesome. Um. Boop. Captain, go ahead and roll Oof. for, uh, <laughs> this is a galactic politics roll. Okay. I feel like you should be pretty good at that. Maybe. Yeah. So. I've know. got three dots, is your, two I've, dots. So I'm gonna, you're, this is gonna be your presence. But we have really big guns, so don't even think about. <laughs> because it's galactic, your Xeno Ram roll, working, also your right? galactic politics yeah. merit. Mankind's gonna come into this, and, uh, we're gonna, and then we're gonna, because it's a persuasion roll, essentially, like, we're gonna throw persuasion on that. 16. Okay. I, I'm um, saying malfunction, but I'm not saying distress because I'm a li like, I don't know the brightest side, but distress seems like a sign of weakness that I may or may not want to send. Malfunction seems like we're making a mistake and we'll fix it as soon as possible. Yep. Uh, Captain, 16. I don't think they really care. Fly the ship, uh, Rake. Meanwhile, uh, just for our sake, Rake, Go ahead and roll um, your piloting roll one more time. And I'm drunk, so... Your synesthesia can come into this, yes. Okay. I don't know um, drunk. We're going to put that on... <laughs> safe bet. Yeah, oh. I, I think you'd be a little distracted. Yeah, so just throw one one more on top, 15. 15 the flask. Jesus, five. There's not really anything for me to do right now. Uh, not until he rolls this. Once he rolls this, we're gonna be dealing with that. Hey, great. So far, you've just protected the ship, but you're the, you're the most effective protection the ship has had against asteroids, so... Thank you. Or whatever that's worth. I got five. Are the okay. are the weapons on the same Eight. system as everything else? Sorry. Uh, the weapons are on the same computer system as everything else. Eight. Yes. Okay. Compartmentalizing uh, our systems down the line and upgrading the OS of our operating ship <laughs> would go a long way towards keeping us safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are going to be in the Assuming slate for four, that means you guys are going to be in the slate for four rounds. Uh, this is the same mechanic that we dealt with last game. Um, I am going to roll essentially to encounter what you encounter, and then you will encounter it as you encounter. Or we could right not. Right this is the literally, literally the I hope worst. It's puppies. Right yes. You already hit it. Yes. That was fast. Yeah, it. Is. That's why the. Uh oh, is asteroids, about. Syra. Hi. Roll tactical, please. All right. What is that again? Uh, that is your. It's twelve, right? Uh, your range combat roll is five. Five, Sorry. I hate that. That's a um, bad number. But Rake, uh, no, you're too busy piloting. No. It's okay. Sorry. Got it. It's Can all I help? on you. One, two, three, four. Damn. Oh, solid. Yes. yes. Oh, Damn. I am a good gunsman. Yes. Um, oh, gun, shit, gunsman. Man. Amazing. I'm killing that. it. So that means you're only going to take 1d4 of damage. Ah, no. Oh, damn. Even with my eight? Yeah. Holy Your eight shit. just made sure that you guys weren't stuck in this late for like 10 rounds. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, yeah. thanks. Well, um, you, you you all work together on various aspects of this thing. Uh, okay, one damage to your shields. It's not bad. We have two two left. One yep, left. you have two one left. left. One left and three oh, whole. God. Yep. Oh shit, guys. Um, all right. Uh, Let's hold try on a second. second. So in the so now can I do evasive maneuvers now that we're gonna be in it for four? 
No, you are you are already piloting at the best you can. You're gonna hold on for a second. Cool. Hey, you guys got lucky. Uh, the second round is a clear round, <coughs> meaning that you guys just roll through the slate. Rake just what? Going through the craziness. Great, good, good, good. Great. You're still in there for two more How rounds, but that's a clear round. Room. After these two rounds, now you guys are now hitting down to the engine room. You've hit a turbo lift. You've gone down. You're running down the way. Lulu, you are. Uh, which which one of you? I five, roll higher. Four? Yeah, so you're leading the way. Yeah. <clears throat> you burst into the engine room. All of the engine uh, room personnel are, uh, most of them Kira, some of them Zokotal, uh, all look to you freaking out. Um, Pheromone to try to calm them. Okay. Uh, roll eight for Pheromone Calm. Yeah. Big Pheromone, big Pheromone. Shit, I bet a cuddle yeah, party wow. with Kirei would be <laughs> no. really mellow. Only three. I'm too annoyed that I'm with him. So. Um, <laughs> I race right the, to a console. Okay, as you as you run to a console, uh, one of the engineering techs runs up to you. Technically, she sort of acts as your uh, chief engineer. The engineers are just like an engineering team. They all answer to the first officer. Um, okay. So an engineer runs up to you, a uh, another Kirei, young, uh, clearly a little terrified young uh, ma uh, male Kirei. Commandant, we have attempted to repatch the engines with the computer systems, but from what we can tell, the computer systems will not accept any commands outside of those delivered directly from the Paka. And the Paka is not responding to our hails. What should we do? Do we know if the Paka was the one that put it into emergency? We have no idea. The computer systems are locking us out. Then we need to get inside of them. The computer systems cannot be reactivated without... <laughs> you try. We I've had teams trying to do this for the last 10 minutes. Move aside. Do I speak Paka by any chance? Uh, you do not speak Paka, no. Okay. How are we talking to you? I no, 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 basic. you speak Paka basic. basic. Yeah, I mean like Paka Prime. Oh, oh, you mean oh. Paka. Yeah, yeah. Like their native language now. So we can't, we can't hack, we can't get into the OS, we can't hack the system. You can try to get try into to the OS and hack the system. system. What I'm telling you is that it is an incredibly high modifier to do that. The easier thing to do here is just straight up shut down yeah. the engine. Yeah, shut down, shut down like, the warp core. Pull the lever and shut down the Turn the entire ship off, hard reboot. Yeah. Do is it. That Turn what you're it off do? and on again. Turn it off. Yeah, I just, tried turning it off. Oh, oh, my, that's literally what she said at the beginning. Well, kind of, yeah. <laughs> yep. That's what we had this conversation already. Uh, okay, uh, Luvin, you're gonna do this, or good idea, you're gonna do this. Uh, are we gonna do this together? You're gonna do it together. I meant. Are we friends now? Don't push it. Don't blackmailing my first officer and fix my ship. I'm not here, but that's what I would say if I were here. Um, all right. So, First uh, to survive. Lulu, you have an engineering role that is- Is it just the same one? No, I need to I need to make it for you. you oh, that was okay. your diagnostic. This is an actual, like, doing the role role. Got it. Uh, you already have one good idea, which is uh, 15. 15 is my magic This number. is your wits, computers. I need to bump wits. my computers, man. Your computers. Shoot. My computer skills is oh, awesome. No, this is hard, so uh, field engineering instead. Oh, quick, Sorry. I was, I was like, um, good idea. Take two dice out. <laughs> I believe in you guys. I love when stops dead in the middle of the slate is the good outcome. Eight. Ooh. All right, roll. I'm better at diagnosing than I am at fixing. You Wait, got this. They didn't ask us whether that's what they should do before they did it. Nope, just did it. Turn the whole system we, off we in the slate. We sent them down to stop the engines. Well, we're gonna stop this. Wait, no. We don't wait, know wait, that. wait, wait, wait. We no, no, ran wait. to the exactly. engine room. Did she? Did what? Rake, we don't know where we're in the I don't, Wait, wait, hold on a second. Yeah. Just real quick. We don't Side know. Down. It's true. Yeah, real yeah. quick. Yeah. In the order of things, we went through an asteroid field, and then now we're in the slate. Now you are in the slate. We're in the slate. You hit an so asteroid while you were in the slate. As soon as we went into the slate, literally, wouldn't our orders like change? Pocket. Wouldn't we're our right. orders change to not stop the hyperspeed at this point? Because I mean, that's most most likely. But you know, they've been told to. I mean, our those other orders have not changed. Our option is keep crossing into the brightest side. We need yeah, to stop. Yeah, we're and gonna go die in the way. slate. They destroy everything. Yeah, but you we can't stop in the slate, basically. We can't stop in the slate. We eight. you wow. Eight. I'm so sorry. You can't have them turn off the, the, the I, crossing I never won. Why can't we stop and go the other way? We are in I'm a destructive force. Okay. That's like stopping inside of a hurricane Probably when you no, are in a plane. That way, then stopping the engine way. now. We need to get out of here as fast as possible. I only possible. got a one, so I'm adding one. I got, yes. a, I got an eight. Oh, wow. Okay, so here's the thing, though. With a one, that's a failure. Yeah. So, um, I know. We're, so we're going to mitigate for that. 
Um, hey. You hit, this actually is like maybe the best thing that could happen. Weirdly, your failure oh, solves Rake's problem. Yeah, yeah cause I was um, like about to press the button and go, don't do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you, so you keep uh, a good idea, you get into I this and you start it. pulling wires. We'll this stuff you understand. Yeah. This yeah. is a crossing point. Yeah, this is good stuff. I get how this works. Right aside, ships totally have crossing drive. Right aside, ships totally have crossing drive. So you just start pulling wires out, reconnecting them, reshuffling. You get in, you find the, essentially like the core containment field that is the thing that would like normally do this, yeah. right? Uh, now here's the thing. It's basically a giant cooling tank. Okay. When you pull it. Oh shit. Karma. Uh, yeah. When you pull it, it explodes <laughs> all over you. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Throwing coolant into your face and onto the whole front of your body. Yes! Oh my Burning god. Burning you Karma's in the same way bitch. that Leuven was burned way back when. Oh! Way back oh. Way back when, meaning a week ago. Meaning a week ago. <laughs> a week ago. Um, Nurse Pawak is I need you like, to roll. I, I need you to roll for defense. What's up with you guys in cool? Meanwhile, back on the bridge. Hi. Can I boost? How's it going? This point? Hurt, buddy. Hold on. <laughs> roll for helm. You are hitting a uh, an unstable pocket of subspace as you head through the slate. Roll for helm. What is that? Is it, it's just straight up. Uh, Fourteen. Sorry. Okay, got it. I uh, I don't know what my defense. Roll is, um... It's under your physical stats. Oh, there it is, stats. okay. Ooh, <laughs> this is gonna go badly. One. Okay. One of two. Five. Do I have to roll composure from seeing his burning flesh? And Ooh. just so we're clear, if she would have rolled... We'll see how he does. If she would have rolled up? well... Okay. If she would have rolled well, that wouldn't have exploded in my face? Yeah. Five is a success. Oh, um, that's great. We also would be stuck in slave so space one, right now. Uh, so one, do you, can you be have a five? Yes. Or we okay. die. Uh, <laughs> yeah. you don't, you, Hold on a second. We don't know it's my fault. <laughs> I don't, I don't. No, it's true. <laughs> one more damage to shields. Your shields are now down. Shields Ooh. down in the slate. Okay. Shields down in the slate. Oh. Your ship is starting to get real damaged, you guys. What are these special defenses that we have against the slate? Uh, they they're on your hull. Oh, they are. They are. They, the, the hull is made of, of slate resistant material, but okay. like only to a degree. At some point, Holy you need shit. to get out of this. Thing. Is there anything else in our ship that we can divert can we power to the shields? Can we, no. Can we speed uh, up? Right now, you're no because uh, because the power is the computer right. systems are locked down. Can we go faster? You are already going as fast as you possibly can. You have one more like round within the slate. You've already gone three. This is your fourth round. Let's just get the last through round. it. Okay. You're clear. Last round. Oh, hey. Thank God. Hey. Um, you Ooh. rolled defense. Yeah. One. Ah ah ah. It only rolled two against you. You take one damage. Ooh. Um, because of that, I don't think you need to roll. Yeah, I'm okay. He just um, it it just... bursts. It bursts up in his face and like. Oh hits God! You in the face. Oh God! Ah. Um, but as you but as you do, the uh, the whole rest of the system as the coolant vents, the whole rest of the system shuts down. Right as we exit the Define slate. whole rest of the system. Meaning the shut as ship turns so. Off? The ship suddenly goes dark. As it uh. Had to stop the engines. Mission accomplished. You did it. Did it. <laughs> the ship goes dark as you stumble. Uh, essentially, uh, like head over heel, out of the slate, into Brightest Eye territory. Oh, gosh. Um, you, uh, your ship is extremely damaged, um, especially the crossing drive right now, which is, for all intents and purposes, completely offline. Uh, it will take uh, quite a lot of time to repair. Uh, at helm, you can see you are about a thousand miles, uh, or I mean, you know, miles. Um, we'll just use that clicks. for clicks. yeah, car clicks. Sex, a yeah, you're a thousand clicks. clicks. No. You're a thousand clicks illegally <laughs> over the border of Brightest Eye territory. But I mean, the only other way out is into the slate. So I mean, we really don't have a place to go. Mm -hmm. Cool. Back out. Great. Um, the ship, the ship is dark. Reserve power pops up, giving you essential lights, um, and like you know, readouts on your ship systems, like where you are. Cool. Yeah what your scanners say, do but we have your a, engines are offline, your weapons are offline. Do we have a cloaking system of, of any kind? You do not have a cloaking system of any kind. Status report. Have there been any injuries? Are any systems unrecoverable? And can we get everybody to work bringing everything back online? Uh, your uh, your repair crews immediately go into action. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Is anything on fire? Can we get a hold of the Paka? Is there any Me. way that we can? I don't think daddy's gonna pick up the phone. We have to try. I think, I think I think we're on our. I think I think these chillins are on their own. Uh, to that point, suddenly, 
command, uh, Captain oh. Bard, uh, you receive a, uh, or I'm sorry, no, Syrah, you receive a message on your uh, comms from one of your tactical officers. A, uh, a, what is he? Sorry, give me a second. Just want to make sure I know this guy. Good thing I'm a pretty decent correctly. pilot. Yeah, yep. well yep. done. Nope, good piloting. Uh, yeah, a Kure named uh, Torato. And Torato. Torato? Tor, T O R, dash H T O. Can I call him Totoro? You can call him Totoro, yes. Okay. Uh, security officer Totoro uh, hits you. <laughs> Totoro, I'm going to say it now. Yes. <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, Lieutenant Syrah? Yes. We're down at the Paca Sanctum. We we need you here now. What's you might happened? want to bring the captain. What's what? happened? You should just come. Should I? Oh. There's been a murder. <gasps> what the hell? Dun, 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 what kind of ship are you running out. here? Oh. Lucy? Who is on the bridge that I can leave in charge here? Uh, just me. I mean, right Rick, but Leuven, Leuven can return to the bridge. I, I, can come I also can't yeah. do anything on the on the did, bridge anyway, right? I, I can't pilot anything. Did Captain hear That's that? Correct. I'm just gonna go did with him. Oh yeah, did I hear that? Uh, no, you heard that. Oh okay. my bad. My bad. Um, what happened? Get the gun. Uh, I'm not gonna tell everybody because I don't want to incite panic. Um, I walk over very there. Very wise. Because okay. I have common sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I uh, go up to the captain, try and be chill, but I'm not. I'm standing on fire. right over her, or behind her, or whatever. <laughs> I shuffle Rick, you how away. Are my engines? You're just huh? How are my down. engines? They're dead. I can't do anything. Captain, we need to get down to the Paca, and we need to get down now. There has been an emergency. We should go deal with it. If you have someone you can leave in charge, I would do it now. You're, you're in charge. You make the call. But uh, move in. How is everything down in the engine room? Uh, I, got, I got this. I got this. Go, go, go. Are you sure? Do you want me to send the doctor down? Smoke is still coming off of his face. <laughs> oh, no, it's a good look on me. Go. I run. Okay. Lulu, you have the con, yeah? Has the bridge, con? yeah. Great. Uh, so she's got the con. You head down to the Paca's sanctuary. Mm -hmm. I, go, I go with them. Do you? Yeah, I mean, Don't I you don't... need to pilot the Stay ship? Here. No, I mean, the ship is dead. You can't pilot. The ship's dead. I can't do anything. All I'm right. gonna go with you guys. All right. Bard, Syrah, you make, uh, and Rake. You make your way down to the Paca Sanctum. Rick, stay on the bridge. I'm useless here. I can at least help you guys down there. She's the captain. Well, see, he's like, I'm the one with the ankle bracelet. Mm. Bracelet, and he's the one with the oiva. Uh, what are you the... gonna do? Oiva, the oiva. Uh, I just try and persuade her that we I would went, be we very from, helpful. From gold Wait, I can Woody even... Allen. -ing? Personally, as, a, as someone who got the message, I don't want him to come. Can I do anything about that? Can yeah. I intimidate him? Yeah. yeah. Turn around and intimidate him. Do <laughs> subterfuge? Can I do something to you? So this is just this is going to be a straight up social defense versus social defense. Roll, okay, okay? Got it. All right. Um, so Rake, you're going to roll for your social defense, uh, which you've and never rolled use, before. Can I use my pheromones too? Yeah, I'm sending you. Your social. Uh, Why are you doing this right now? Yeah, your social no, defense. No, no. I mean that's like to. Can I use that? Isn't that to like calm myself down and like no. calm other people down? No, it calms other people down. Doesn't calm you down. Oh, okay. Can I calm her down? Uh, you know, I don't think that the pheromones really work on, uh, on flame. Because the flame don't have, like, the sort of natural, like, senses or bodily functions that, like, yeah, most pheromones work on. Organic, they're, like, they're not maybe? organic in the same way. Yeah. So I think it probably doesn't work from a mechanical perspective. I like where your head's at. Sorry. Sorry. I'm a rock lady. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I got problems. Distress. I know. All right, I just want to be like, Rake, I need you to stay here. This is something I would like to have as l the smallest amount of people involved with as possible. We need to get this done and come back. There are other things to deal with. Am I on the bridge yet? Or am I running? You're running to the bridge. No, I'm, am I running to the bridge or am I on the I bridge? I said you're right? running to the bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got, Got it. it. I thought you bridge. said running the bridge. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You're running to the bridge. Thank you. My bad. Myself. Apologies. Okay. Too, too riled up. Um, okay, you are seven, Rake. For your defense. defense, Syrah, you are a eight for your intimidation. What? Uh, and I remind you, I, I remind uh, you as I try to every game at some point or another that you always can spend willpower. Yeah, cool. I'll this use the willpower. I'll use the willpower. Knock him out. By the way, just for what it's worth, it took you 20 minutes to stop your shit to get out of work. Just. Something to think about. Is the clock still going? No. Nope. I don't understand uh -oh. why. It's, it's, I, I was timing right how long now. it took you to, because that depended on how long it got you into the slate and into got the it. brightest eye oh. and all of that. Huh. Yeah. Mechanics. I, got two. I got four. What's up? 
I got four. Okay. Why does he want to go? She got two. Probably better than uh, worse. He, you can't seem to shake him unless you want to try to direct order. She's a captain. She should be able to be like, don't. She, she, she can if she wants. <laughs> but I don't have to. She, she can if she convinces you. Yeah, sure. You can go to the brig. We need to do. Great. If you can't help me fly the ship, go fix it. Go to this might be a good idea in the engine room. Computers? Is that am I like? Could I actually help? Yeah, you're very good at computers. Can I just like? I slow need this in the air. Right. Go to the. You kept yeah. this alive through the. I okay. go, do I go to help him? Is yeah. That one? Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. It no. sucks, doesn't it? No, new friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, Rake, you head down to the engine room. Uh, I give her a dirty look on my way out. Oh. <laughs> like a really Bye. dirty look. Bye. Uh, I can't see it because you're down here and I'm up here, so. No, I grab your attention. I'm like, hey, tall rock person, mean eyes. No. Uh, Lulu, yeah. you, uh, you yeah. head down to the bridge uh, as he leaves. Uh, Rake, you head down to the engine room. Good idea, you're in the engine room. We're going to go over to Bard and Syrah uh, as we head uh, into uh, the Paka Sanctum. Okay, so are we in our own space out of earshot now? Yes. Great, okay. Um, this is as you guys head down. Okay, I'm gonna like cover my comms thing because I know Rake listens to everybody. Um, I, I got a message from down near the Paca and apparently there has been a murder. Didn't want to say what? it in front of everybody, but uh, yeah, we should hurry. Thank you. Bard, Syrah, you make your way down to the Paca Sanctum, an area of the ship which is usually Inaccessible to anyone except for the Pakha itself. I'm not saying this, but I'm thinking two weeks, two <laughs> weeks I've had this ship. As you near the entrance, you immediately see that that door, that big door that never opens, is open. Cool, great. That's not ominous. Something neither of you have ever seen before. You I'm enter the sure. sanctum and are met by security officer Torto. Tetra. <sighs> Hell of a thing. What happened? He lifts a protective sheet on a mound at his feet and reveals the dead body of the Pakha. But well, the Pakha's just one? It's yeah. one Pakha. Oh. It's... It, does it look like it the thing we've seen stand, made out of machines, except it's a dead body? Yep. I mean, it's about 14 feet tall. It's um, tripedal. It's sort of collapsed. But we there was only one on our ship. It wasn't like a group. It's correct. There is one. Wow. Okay. Um, there bad. are uh, small ports from him that seem to be heading into the ship systems, uh, and uh, very little else uh, in the chamber uh, beyond that. Oh, Christ on a bicycle! Yeah, this is not the best thing that's ever happened. Um, how did you discover this? Did you? Was there? What's going on? <laughs> When the Paka refused to uh, respond, our security officers made a routine sweep of this area, as is protocol. We saw that the door was open, which was, well, let's just say surprising. Yeah. And upon proceeding, we found the deceased. We immediately covered the body. We have not touched the crime scene. I assumed, Lieutenant, that you would want to do the investigation yourself. Yeah, uh, that is right. Sorry, there's a lot going on. Um... How long, I mean, is Paka, does Paka have a gender? How long have they been there? <laughs> it seems to be freshly dead. And we, is there any sign of, of, of injury or, or any cause? Go ahead and roll for your investigation. Oh yeah, I got that. Uh, investigation for you is... Lieutenant Syra, I I'm, have every confidence in your ability to figure this out. Can I help? Uh, we're gonna find out in a second. <laughs> you definitely can. Uh, all right. This is gonna be your witch. I just have to stand here and think for a minute about how good I am at investigating, and then I'm gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> think about it. How oh, in Think about it. Think, think about it. Okay. Uh, investigation ten. Ten. All right. Uh, and Captain Bard, your investigation is not as hot as that. Oh no! Wait. Hold on. I took an investigation. I've done a bit of investigating. Because you pumped Three. it up a little bit. Jeez, Ooh, that was not great. Good. Is it, that's at least the minor success, right? Yeah. Yeah. Figure things out. Uh, eight. eight. All right. <laughs> what you got? Three. A three? I'm, okay. I'm very shook right now. Maybe yeah. I'm not that great at looking at wounds. Mm. <laughs> You're like, ew, organic goo. Yeah, it bleeds. Yeah. I also got three. Yeah. Okay, well, that six. actually hits up to a success, meaning that you guys get a six rather than a three. Great. 
meeting a failure. Fantastic. Um, Go team murder. Yeah. Yay! Um, murder we, investigation. You, uh, you, you, you look at the body. The Paka seems to have been killed with a scatterbeam gun. Uh, do I have any knowledge of who on the ship would have access to something like that? Almost every crew member on this ship has something equivalent to the scatterbeam gun. It's sort of the Great. equivalent to like a phaser. Um, normally they're offline while on the vessel. It's hard to fire one of these uh, because of security protocols. Right. Um, so somebody would have had to override the security protocols on their scatterbeam just to make this work. Okay. I'll Can I... I mean, I don't know if it's a separate You also one, don't but... know if it's a peacekeep issued scatterbeam. You just know that like... You know, you guys are all equipped with scatter beams. Like we know what bullet holes look like. Exactly. Basically. Right. <laughs> okay. But you couldn't um, tell if it was like a U.S. Army bullet or a. You know, can I sweep around the room to see if there's any other evidence, clues, things left behind? Absolutely, you can. Please both roll. Shit? Can you use your again? Can, can, your I, Batman can we? Can we hold him in like... <laughs> Yeah, that is what you are doing. <laughs> uh, can we also order that like, whatever region of the ship we're in like be shut down entrance and exit wise and if, if are there any records or logs of people entering and exiting this area oh, yeah, are there cameras to review yes okay so <laughs> first off all the information yeah first off you are going to in fact lock down the ship that's your that's your first move mm -hmm. lock down the ship everybody goes where they're going do it yeah. all right so the captain locks the ship down um upon locking the ship down uh, all uh, security camera footage starts to get uh, parsed through the security officer, uh, uh, Torto, who's there. He's he's searching through it. He'll let you know as soon as you come up. You guys begin to scan and investigate the room, but before we go forward into the rest of this investigation, I am going to take a break. Uh, I think right. it's best if we leave you guys on the uh, the cusp of the murder investigation um, with the understanding that uh, it is relatively clear now that uh, uh, you are in a, a pretty high intensity situation. And when we return, we'll have a lot of problems to solve. Not only do you need to figure out who and murdered. trapped in hostile space with a badly damaged ship and a murderer and no Paka. Yep. Yay. Better figure out that, better figure out that murder, better figure out that engine, better get out of brightest eye space. Coming soon on Vast. See you guys in a few minutes. Hey, hey. Welcome back. Uh, we are back in the middle of a uh, pretty gnarly... Yeah, you're doomed. That's pretty much how it goes. Uh, yeah, the... Uh, for uh, just to recap real fast, we're in a bit of a, a gnarly situation. Um, but actually, but first, before we do that, we have to address uh, the idea of the fan name. Yay! The most important... Uh, thing going on tonight, clearly. Um, we have four selections uh, from the, uh, we, we went through your amazing, uh, at, I'm sorry, uh, hashtag VastFans tweets, uh, and we looked for the names that we thought uh, would both be the best, like sort of long-term, but also the ones that made us laugh or made us go, ooh, that's really cool. Um, so, we are gonna put up a poll of our top four. You will be able to go on to join Team Alpha uh, on Twitter, or, you know, just search that hashtag VastFans and go to that poll. And until the end of the show, you, everybody who is watching Vast right now, can vote on it. Um, so go ahead and vote. It'll be great. Um, of those four, and we're not going to tell you which one we like uh, so that you can just go for it. But of those uh, of those four, the four are... Should we be stone-faced? Yes, stone-faced. Stone oh no, I can't. Uh, I can't lie. <laughs> Preface, I yeah. am so excited that people want to talk about and watch your show at all. Thank you so much. Thank you have you. no idea how much it means to yeah. us. Yeah. It is you. unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's my favorite uh, thing in the world. I'm still blown away. We've gotten like fan art during this cast. Oh, Kurt Cole! Kurt yeah. yeah. Cole! Kurt Cole! Kurt, that was an incredible, that was an incredible oh. sibling drawing. It's so cool. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hank so glasses. cool. My, yeah, the my little Hank McCoy glasses. And it looked like I gotta look at it again. Yeah. It looked like yes. my face, yeah. but with fur. It's unbelievable. And my hair, but and like the and the and, and the great. and it's like clearly something he does all the time to her, right? Like yeah. that feels like just yeah. such a like rake move. So okay, fun sorry. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We got Vasters. <laughs> Vastateers, Vastaways, and Vastronauts. Go for it. You pick. I will stick with whatever you decide. Those are all great. Thank you so much. Those and are... keep in mind, whoever, uh, the, of the originators of those, and I know for some of you there's like multiple originators, we will have a gift. There's going to be a, uh, an Amazon gift card that will be coming Ooh. your way uh, to be the person who, uh, who did this. For those of you who are uh, maybe multiple originators of this, we will be doing a random drawing of you to see which one of you gets the prize. And then you guys can uh, argue about it from there. Uh, <laughs> all right. So with that in mind, we are going to zoom right back into Vast because it's clear, uh, as per usual, Vast will be going late. 
Uh, and we no. are gonna, I know, shocking. <laughs> every week I'm like, this is the week I'm gonna keep it to three hours. And every week we do an hour of character-based role play before I even get to my script. And every week you guys I am not complaining, it's the point of Vast. I love you guys. Let's keep this going. So. Um, Sorry, East Coast. We are back. They can watch it tomorrow. Uh, no, stay up. Stay up and watch it now. Yeah, school doesn't matter. Uh, nothing matters. Nothing matters but fast. Uh, all right. So um, now you know what it's like to be me. Nothing matters but fast. Uh, okay. So uh, Bard, Syrah, we are going to pick back up with you. You are in the uh, Pacos chamber at the murder scene. You were just investigating. Last we, uh, The last order that had been given was that you wanted that security footage to go through Torto to see what he could do. Uh, meanwhile, you were actually investigating the place proper. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right, great. So um, while he goes through that footage, uh, I want you both to roll for investigation. Okay, uh, is that the same? Uh, that is the same roll that you just so did. 10? So for you, it's 10, Syra, and for Bard, it is eight. Bad. I keep switching up my dice, hoping that gives me better luck. <laughs> Ooh. Cool. I like the sound of that. Yeah? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We got some ooze. Happy, happy Kate yeah. sounds. Some ooze and I've gotten, I've gotten better at detectiving in the we last love it. five We're minutes. We're getting our berries. Um, yeah, I got a six. I got five. Ooh. Five and... I also got a six, six, six right next to each other, just... Well, so that that's a devil crit. Just uh, a devil crit. Oh, dude, so good. Just uh, happens around me. Yep, a, a, a demon just shows up and shows you stuff. Uh, no. um, so... I got six, I got five. That's an outstanding success, you guys. So we can yeah. see it through time. Uh, you, yeah. You rewind the... But we just solved the crime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the end. Oh, it's him. Right Totoro, right always, always, always the only other character that's been named. Yeah. So it's Totoro. clearly... Totoro. Totoro did it. Clearly Torto. Um, that's not confirmation. Uh, okay, so you discover a bioradiation footprint uh, using your scanners. Um, it is a trail leading away from the sanctum. And as you uh, you sort of, you check the, the trail and it's heading away from the sanctum and you're sort of looking at that. And it's specifically bioradiation, which is rare. You don't see a lot of like biological radiation uh, on, on, on most species. Uh, and then you are, you follow the, the thing to the end of the trail and uh, <laughs> there's a shelf that's been kind of knocked over by an impact as if when the Paka was hit by the scatter beam, it hit this shelf before falling over the shelf i mean it's not like a sort of standard like human here's all of my like toys shelf it's just got it had like one thing on it which is this very large paka multi-tool uh this uh sort of remote control looking deal uh you uh recognize that tool as being a it's it's something that uh is able to actually remove. The Paka has this helmet that it wears that covers most of its face. Yeah. This tool seems to actually be used to like remove the helmet. It's a, uh, it's a, a an unlock. Is our dead helmet. body wearing its helmet? Yes. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Commit oh. a little heresy? So is the thing on the ground, it's not taken, it's just knocked over? Yeah. So oh. can we, can we crack that helmet wow. open? If you want. Do I go to jail for that? You do not. Okay. That's a it's a captain's orders deal. Um, also, is there any further trail after that, or is that where it ends? Uh, the uh, the bio radiation trail ends outside in the uh, in the uh, uh, turbo lift. Okay. From there, it just dissip it dissipates. So by the time that that whatever it was got off of the turbo lift, it didn't uh, leave any more. Uh, Who is there? Have checking on what would leave a bio radiation signature like that. And also, is there anyone in charge of like the ship's controls that could tell where that turbo lift went or? Uh, so that is uh, essentially a computer systems role. Unfortunately, your computer systems are totally Just offline. Garbage, right but I, yeah. oh, right. Yeah, your computer systems are wrecked right now. Your your footage is literally elevator? having to get like salvaged. Uh, because, they have emergency, well, yeah. that's a great question. Uh, that when did they use question. it? I, All that, I know. But no, it's an interesting question. If only you knew someone with a handheld scanning device. Uh, and then um, you can, uh, uh, you can, if you want though, try to follow those you know, those trail, like, into the turbo lift and investigate the turbo lift. But I feel like... Or you can crack open the Paka helmet, or you can do both. Yeah, how do we check... We, this thing, it's definitely dead, right? I don't we know, know what Vital dead? Signs a Paka has. Yeah. Uh, it is definitely dead. Okay. It's lifeless, it's lost <laughs> most of its color, it has a hole in its chest. You don't it's know sprawled out, and its doors open. But... It's dead. Are we wasting time if we check that? I don't know. Um, Captain, your call. It just when happened to... Died. It got knocked into Probably. that cabinet that had the tool, right? Right. But the tool wasn't taken. No. 
Uh, your call. I mean, we can check it out, or we can check chase. Uh, Torto. Uh, I, I want to check it out a little bit, but yeah, it's up to you. Check it out. Torto takes a, a, a sort of. He looks at that remote for a second. Lieutenant. Yeah. If that can remove the Pakas helmet, it's possible I can analyze data from within the Pakas systems. That helmet seems to still be online, unlike most of the computer systems. Perhaps it had some kind of scanners that might give us more accurate data. Unfortunately, I- Do it. Well, unfo- thank you for that exposition, my friend. <laughs> yes, let's. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, he- uh, Good old Totoro. <laughs> uh, so he, he takes Love that, that and proceeds to um, to open the thing and take the, the helmet with him to uh, the- Okay, the, what's the pack I look like under the helmet? To the yeah. analysis. Are they gross? All right. Uh, no. Oh. Uh, I don't know why I'm disappointed by that. They are. Um, are they pretty? They have triang. Uh, they are majestic. Okay. Uh, they have Ooh, sort like of that. triangular heads. Uh, think of them as you know, like that, right? Like triangle, a triangle head. Yeah. You know, like a triangle. Um, <laughs> I've, I've heard of this. Uh, lined, <laughs> lined with uh, eyes that get larger as they go up Whoa. the way. Uh, it has a whole. It has compound like eyes. The- like the thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, it has a whole series of compound eyes uh, that go all above it. Uh, in the center of it, of its forehead, is a circular brand. Um, it doesn't look like a burn necessarily, but it, it, it's definitely like, if, if this is naturally occurring in the Pakha, that's pretty cool and weird. It's a like literal divot in the center of the, of the forehead that has a series of um, uh, sort of dots around it in various patterns. It almost, uh, it has a, a sense of being maybe a code or a, um, a signifier of some kind. Uh, but it's of no kind of language that you've ever seen. Cool. Uh, uh, take uh, a selfie with it. Pale, pale, pale white skin uh, because it, it no longer has any kind of blood coursing through it. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, Tarto, please go to work looking for any usable data from that helmet. Do we want to try and track the movements of the whatever left this feedback? Oh wait, oh, and no mouth. It has, uh, it has, um, uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, the, that a whale has? Baleen? Uh, it has baleen. Ah. Um, sort of running all, of it, all across it. So however it generates sound might be artificial through the helmet. Okay, cool. That's neat. Well, it makes a whale wow. The helmet seems to cover the baleen, which might explain how it feeds. Okay, hmm. all right. Hmm. Um, so we want to maybe one of these uh, things Want to yeah, uh follow that. Follow that bio signature. <laughs> okay. Uh go ahead and roll uh you're each going to roll investigation rolls. I do want somebody looking up we can't use the computers, can we? No. Can we like uh, no. can we like text him it. a photo or anything? You can send him a photo if you like. I don't know if that's Google useful, photo. but like a photo of the Paka or like a, a, yeah. an idea of what the bio radiation looks like. Well, it's got that symbol on his forehead, and he's got that language thing. I don't know. I might be reaching, but. But they also have no idea what's happening. So he's gonna be like hanging out. And he's gonna get a yeah, picture of a it's... dead Paul He's gonna <laughs> shit his pants. Yeah. And he's gonna think it's some ominous I message. I do not. He's shit. also the newest member of your crew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, oh, no, no. he's gonna think it's a threat or something, dude. Okay. So I'm Everybody just, shit. I'm just gonna like all the universe. take some pictures Perfect and then do my thing. System. So yeah. Totally close. Document system. the scene. Yes. Roll your investigation. I take a selfie with it. Roll your investigation. Once a year. Once a year. That's not true. Oh no, I dropped my thing. I oh, know. It's Very fine. Efficient. Keep going. <laughs> I'm fine. Very efficient, non gendered. All right. All right, I got. A, let's. Thank oh you. man, can we <laughs> pretend that wasn't my roll? Oh. I know. Two. Uh, Oof. I didn't roll because my thing fell apart. Oh, oh no. Better than I did. My life fell apart. I didn't okay. roll. So I have to roll pretty good to One, get around two, to doing three, there. Seven. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah. A judge. Yeah, all nines and zeros too. Nice. I just really wow. Really number things. Dang. Excuse You're like beast. How many? How many? How many? How many zeros are you rolling? I'm with uh, Sarah. Three. Three zeros. Four. Okay. Four nines. Um, three you, zeros. Four nines. Uh, you walk yeah. out into the uh, the area around um, the area where where once Bard stood earlier in this game, uh, demanding that there would be a to be continued. Now standing yeah. in that to be continued. Oh, we'll never um, be continued. You look down to see uh, uh, an area. Um, on the side where it looks like a panel has been removed um, and then replaced. Like it's sort of bent out of shape a little bit. Oh, okay, I'm gonna look at that. You tear open the panel and pull out a uh, 
Paka standard issue scatterbeam. Okay. Well, um, I guess I don't have fingerprints. I probably don't. I'm made of rocks. Uh, <laughs> trying to figure out how everything works. Is that something we can check? Is there signatures? Is fingerprints? There's not... nothing on the. There is no, no fingerprints on it. It's been fully cleared. Okay. Awesome. Um, if if, if if whatever it was used fingers. Um, yeah. And there's no specific markings or anything like that. It's just standard issue. Uh, Torto uh, is leaving as he does this with the helmet to go analyze it. Mm -hmm. And he turns to you as he does. Is that a scatterbeam? Yeah. But Lieutenant Olpaka scatterbeams have anti-fire devices while on the vessel. It's very difficult to remove that safety. Only the captain would be able to authorize something like this or, or yourself. Well, I didn't. I, I can mm. I can run a scan on personnel, see if anybody's missing their scatter beam. Well that'd be great. Yeah. Yes, Captain. Yes, Lieutenant. We'll we'll find this guy. We'll get him to justice. Yeah. Get him to justice? Bring him to justice. Get him to that We'll get right. him to that justice. The town of yeah. justice. Yeah. yeah. Take him to justice. That person. I mean anyone can do a murder, but okay. <laughs> oh um, yeah, sorry. That person. Please. There you go. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. And, and so he goes to the turbo. You said that somebody must have uh, earlier. You were saying someone must have uh, somehow disabled the fire lock on their thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they shouldn't be able to do that without one of us, is what you're saying? Normally not. Like senior command personnel are kind of the only people who can like do something. Yeah, we got to forensics this thing and see what was done to it. Like if it was Paca just like a. Do that he's too? yeah. 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 He's uh he's he's taken it to do exactly that. He's gonna okay. do all your forensics, he's gonna handle that. I need to know see the videos, I need to see the feedback from the helmet, I need to know what somebody did to that scatter beam. Unfortunately the videos seem to have been cut off on all sides. Whoever did this had access to the to those systems and shut those down. Are you kidding me? No, there's a black hole in the surveillance. Does the black ah. hole start before or after our uncontrollable engine situation happens? It starts before and ends after. Great. Excellent. To that point. I think they're related. Down in engineering. I have a suspicion. Yes. Rake, you arrived to find Good Idea uh, down in the engine bay. Good Idea, what are you up to? Um, Good Idea is attempting to, uh, um, what I'd like to do is try and figure out if there's any way that I can create a false signature so that this ship gives off a brightest eye code. Like if there's any way to mask what we are and where we are. Or if not where we are, at least mask what we are. Or are all Sorry, systems. let me, I, I'm trying to, so you are trying to, sorry, explain that one more so time. So if anyone scans us from a distance, yeah. I want us to read as a brightest eye vessel. Oh, I understand. You're trying to cloak your yes, like signature. I'm, yes. Okay. What are you doing? So you step in and you see him on this console. Yeah. Good idea, roll for, uh, I asked him what he's doing. Did he, did he yeah, yeah, relay, go, 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 in, go ahead and answer him while you, while you work. I'm gonna build your I am map just trying to fix our uh, little piloting issue. Can I, can I test against that? Is he lying, is he lying <laughs> to me? I can test against that. I'm like, subterfuge is like insane. Uh, yeah, you can, you can test for lies. Give me a second. Okay. <laughs> Don't let it rake. He's got mad skills. Well, 13 for your computer check. Uh, rake. This is a lie detect. It's one of my favorite rules. They, this happens all the time in my Star Trek game. Oh man, how many people lie and then lie detect? Oh my god. <laughs> you can't oh trust goodness. Anyone. Yeah. No lie. You can't trust detect. anyone anymore. Uh, Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you do like that role. Like mm -hmm. oh, are you a key ready too? Oh, maybe. <laughs> I just picked up some habits. Yeah, from right. 13. <laughs> How'd you roll? Eight. Nice. You have, you have been relatively successful in masking the uh, signature of the vessel to read as a brightest eye vessel. Excellent. I still got that message I sent that yeah. said we flew we, into yeah, your we stopped space that. by accident. Yeah, but it did go out. Yeah. Um, I just rolled three. Okay, so uh, you cannot tell if he's lying or not. Okay. He seems, he, he, he seems like it's true. Okay. And uh, done. Are you here to help? Let's get the systems back up. Brilliant idea. Then maybe we can actually get the heck out of here before we all become 
bug chum. We will not become bug chum. Uh, as uh, Major Crow enters uh, <gasps> Major from, Crow. Uh, from behind. I never He's thought like, I'd say this, but I'm glad to see you. He's I figured I could be best used here. The I fell to the engines from my quarters. I was moving to smaller quarters as a result of my demotion. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, right? it would appear that the computer systems were fully disconnected from not just the engines, but the science stations and the weapon systems uh, by nature of some kind of large scale glitch. Welcome to now. Congratulations on catching up with the rest of us. Can I detect Perhaps if that's you'd all like that? to. What was that? Can I detect if that's like, if that's, if he's saying the truth? Can I just lie detect? Yep, roll for it. Do it. Uh, that is it's your 13. Right? 13. Yeah. Chilling in the captain's chair. Yeah, it's a nine. <laughs> you don't trust it up here. I don't trust him. No. <laughs> so you just stumbled out. Where did you go first? You just come straight here. Yes. My quarters are on deck twenty. It took me quite some time to get here. Clearly, he's oh. half Tin Man. Like, can we ignore the gas bag and please just focus on fixing the ship? Gas bag? Yeah, <laughs> gas bag. <laughs> As Got you it. are. Hear this. And he steps up to you. Who are you? Oh, me? I'm the man who just took your job. No! <gasps> All right. I like uh, it now. <laughs> I like no! It so much. Oh boy. Uh, oh hold boy. on a minute. Hold out. Hold out your anger. But I don't. I don't know. He's on the bridge, right? Yeah. Lord, down in engineering. Mm-mm. Uh, uh, wait, he's in engineering? Yeah, yeah. we're all in engineering this, together. This, has Syrah figured out come, some ideas? Yeah, also, Syrah has figured some why stuff did you, out. Why did you come down here? Because I, you, I was once the science officer on this vessel. If our computers have had a massive glitch, I am the one who should be fixing it. But that's not your post anymore. The captain didn't send you to do that. I figured I could be useful. Chit-chatting is also not oh, what either of you were sent to do. Can someone please help me fix the ship? <laughs> I am the only one here who is an actual Paka officer. You two freelancers should be answering to me. Now move out of my way. And he moves to move you away from the science console. I actually just tell him to leave. He turns to you, what? The captain said that we're under strict orders that only we're the, we're the only ones that are supposed to do anything here. I you do, have to go back to your quarters it, or you take it up with the captain. The engines. Yeah, fix the engines. <laughs> Rake, that is an intimidation rule. That's, well, that's an intimidation and subterfuge because I'm lying and she didn't say that. <laughs> Good point. I like the way you think. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. So that means you're going to roll as as I can throw a lot you. for manipulation. I like it think. does. <laughs> Though you lose a little bit to your intimidation. Okay, sure. Uh, One of you guys should like call us and check in so we can ask you some stuff. They have no reason to call us. I know. Yeah. I love this. 11 this for intimidation. Okay. Uh, uh, fine, you're right. On. And I'm like just now picking up on like the social cues that like something is- <laughs> He rolled so is low, in... you guys. He rolled so low. How low? Why is Cat- A one? <laughs> Good, I rolled a two. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well, technically that's a failure on both counts. Okay, so- oh um, Gentlemen, 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 can you please put down your fur and your helium? Whatever is going on here, let's just work together and try and get the ship back up and running before we all get ripped apart and our lives are ended and or we're put back in tiny little boxes for hundreds and hundreds of years until we can't get away anywhere. <clears throat> oh, hi. Let's just go. Let's roll it up. Is he leaving? No. He's not leaving? No. I'm gonna roll. And he turns, and he turns to the computer systems. I will help you. Oh, great. Don't even have to push away. You seek I, to I, help I, us hold too. On, hold on, before that, I, I like say that I, I like, I got a calm, like a thing in my ear, and I go, oh, Captain's orders, she just said that you have to leave. Uh, no, so. And she said, she said like, she will quarantine, she will arrest you if you that, don't leave. You that, just, you literally already rolled for this. Yeah. But, but I'm not intimidating. I'm like, I'm, I'm literally lying. I'm like, it's been your best interest. Like, look, man, I've never had a problem <laughs> with you. I've never had an issue with you, but it sounds like she's pretty serious. She's pretty mint. Right, my thing that my this is an intimidation. This is straight up lying. I'm yep, flat out yep. lying. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, and I'm, I'm appealing I'm to roll for it. And I'm gonna pheromone, pheromone that. <laughs> okay. 
Can you fair him on a mushroom? All right, I mean, I would have. Uh, he's not a mushroom. He's a, he's a titopus. He's a little yeah, gas. He's a little and gas. Yes, right, he takes in. He takes in stuff. Pheromones are actually like super Be- effective. Before he does yeah. that, I mean, my thing was kind of a persuade. I would have well, liked it, to can be this be a combination that if I'm saying that? Okay, guys, 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 stop. guys. Sorry, sorry. Guys. Yeah. Sorry. Colin made the action first, so we're going to have Colin roll. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, Colin. Social convince is 15. Yeah. Nice. Damn. Uh, Rake, I need you to roll for social defense, which is seven. Okay. Not my best. Six. Okay. Three. Okay, uh, so you want to lie to him, you want to charm him, you want to do all this, but good idea has the right idea. Cool. Ultimately, the guy, you know, you, you guys do need to work together to solve this thing. The engines are offline. You don't trust the Ditopus, so you watch him, Yeah. but you let him work. Uh, the three of you are going to roll a combined roll to try to fix the ship, yeah? Yes. Okay, so, and to like figure out presumably what happened. Yes. Yeah. Um, all right, so you guys are each going to roll for... Fix ship first. <laughs> yes. Priority, fix ship. Turn the computers uh, on, please. Pretty, pretty important. Thing. Good idea. You are going to take the engineering side of things cool. for 15. Yes. Rake, you are going to take the computer side of things for 15. Wow, you each roll 15. Nice. A lot. I hope we win. Good tech I hope we get a success. Techie bros. Between please. the both of us. Tech bros. And him trying to not help and us. And he is going to bolster you for 18. Is he though? Is he? Is he? Probably. Nine. What did you get, dude? That's real good. Uh, Holy I shit, got really a uh, seven. Okay. Um. You as uh, as you trace this back, uh, you you see a timestamp. Uh, the for sort of the the last moment that the computer system was locked onto the various subsystems that you had. That computer timestamp is, uh, from what you can tell, part and parcel with a uh, uh, with the time period at which the ship went offline. So there was a, you know, an individual, there was like a moment when everything went offline. Uh, Crow looks at that timestamp. That is, that is a, uh, that is the, uh, yeah, he, he looks at the time and says that that is in fact the time that the, uh, the the ship went offline. It would appear that the entire command structure went offline. Is the is the Pakha still around? Is it checking in? Is it still alive? I take a picture of the of the timestamp and I and I step outside to, to call the captain. That is an officer only question. You appreciate it. You can go now. Really want to ask them a question. He sort of like steps away. And he starts to move away. Rake, you step out of the engineering. You call Captain Barton. Captain Luce. So I have this timestamp. Apparently, when everything went out before our our ship went into hyperdrive or went into crossing speed. Excellent. What's the status? Uh, I don't know. It, it went out right around the same time as we started crossing. What's going on on your side? What's happening? He sends you the timestamp. Uh huh. The timestamp matches the Pakas. Moment of death. Yeah, yeah. Like that same and, that and same moment that the computer that the the uh, the it basically it's it's the time code of the uh, surveillance tapes. Yeah. Knocks off at the same time as the time code of your crossing drive. Can knocks I? Knocks off. And just so you know, oh sorry, just so you know. But you said the ca- the cameras cut off before the Pakha was dead. That's correct. So it's like it, it, so it, the it, it's off. just it's it's like a couple of minutes after. The cameras go off, and then at a certain point, the Pakha dies, and at that exact moment, point. our computer systems went nuts. Correct. Yes. And we saw the Paka had all those wires that were connected into the computer, so I assume the Paka dies, the ship shuts down. We need better fail safes. We do. Um, can I? I mean, she's on comms, right? Not me. Can I'm I, sharing this with you. Okay. Uh, what's going on up in engineering? Yeah. Crow, that, j- Crow right? just came up here. Can you I? Seen the, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, sorry. Major Crow. Can I ask you to check something about him? Can I do that? Yeah, what do, you, what do you want? Yeah, okay, so... Uh, and also, he mentioned something about the Pakha. He said, he asked if it was still alive. Yeah, um, huh. we'll get to that. Uh, can you check and see 
if he, uh, am I allowed to ask if he has his weapon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Can you check and see if he has his weapon on him? Scatterbeam, would that Can they that scan for radiation? It? So, that's what we'll I do that first ask. thing. Yeah. yeah. As uh, he's walking away, I mean, so I So you walk away, yeah, you look. Take a look. On his hip, he does have his weapon. Shit. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, he does. Cool. Um, it'd be a different one, though. That was all I had. Yep. Uh, can anybody scan him for biological radiation? Yeah. Uh, Did you ask that across the... Yeah, good idea, Cam, but he's back in the... Mm -hmm. back I'm in, in engineering there. where he is, but I'm not on... No, he's walking away from engineering now. You told him to leave. Yeah. Uh... Mm -hmm. type, I'm going to follow him. Type, 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 type. Trying type, to figure type. out whether my captain reasonably has my suspicions. But if he just... I know. <laughs> That's up to you. Uh, uh, I'm not super smart, but I have common sense. Is, that, is there yeah. anything I could do with that right now? I mean, so, <laughs> there, so, so here's, here's, here's a common sense move. It is not, uh, it is not eliminating of Crow as a suspect yeah. that he has his... That he has a scatter beam. Yeah. yeah. Either he could have them. used a different scatter beam, he could have picked up another scatter beam, but it could also just as well be an indication that he should not be incriminated. Right. But he does, uh, Major Crow, his movements are on a cat of four and he has a grudge. Uh, I'm saying this to you. Yeah. Uh, I've never let, liked the guy. Let's see if, um, if he matches our radiation signature. Is there a way for us to check that? Are the computers Again. back yet? Can I can ask he? for him? Crow, can you help me? Crow's I'm, left. He's, he's already left. gone. He's already gone. You told him to leave. Okay, he left. <laughs> Are the systems, is the computer back up and running after our super rad roll? Uh, it is on the way to being back up and running. It's, it's booting up the right now? The system is rebooting. Does okay. anybody have hand scanners? It's going to take some time, but it's getting there. Okay, I just, can I just, I, Captain, I think I should just follow him. I didn't trust anything. He came down here. I don't even know why he came down here. It took him forever. I don't know where he was. It, it seems really weird. He, lied, he flat out lied to me. I'm not sure about what, but I don't trust anything that he said to me. Uh, Rick, would you, we can't tell you everything that's going on right now, but if you could ask Major Crow to come with you, we're going to detain him. Uh, Lieutenant Sarah, my head of security. Your call. Does but sound good to you? Um, bold move. Captain. It does feel like a bold move, but also, I mean. I, I just walk back in and I, I, I tell him, hey. Yeah. Uh, we need to go follow that guy while the computer's rebooting. Because someone, some that guy, new Totoro, friends. Let's do it. Totoro's already. Did you say that out loud? Yeah, stuff, right? he's 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 going to do a whole bunch of forensics. Work. And we have presumably someone. that there's there's some kind of record on the Pakaz actual thing once they investigate it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when when Rick asked me that, would I sense that if I say yes, we would be better friends? <laughs> Uh, what's this your probably... what's what's your empathy at? Uh, two, two. Yeah, I mean, you can make a general. I'm not going to make you roll for that. That's a general assumption. Help him with a thing, become better friends. Yes, he was mean to me before. He asked me for a favor. I will now give him this favor, and we will become better friends. <laughs> did you say? Did you say any of that out loud? Not that. I just look at you for a minute, blink, and then I'm like, we shall be friends. <laughs> Captain's orders. Let's go. Yeah. Great. Um, and as the two of you step out. The, uh, you step out to see uh, Crow getting into a turbo lift and turning around. The turbo lift closes, and as it does, the uh, whole uh, ship goes to red alert. I'm sorry, what? Mother. Yeah. Yeah, because he helped. Uh, helped who? Goes red alert. Hold on a minute. Maybe sorry, we lost music because of the power issue. I'm working on it. Oh, great. Oh, this is very meta, dude. Yeah. We're working oh, on, on getting systems back up. Fix the system. You gotta, you gotta fix the system to fix the system. Everything, yeah. you say that everything the, broke. Would you say Help that the me. system is down? <laughs> the system oh. is down. Oh my god, what year is it? Um, uh, okay, so, um, no. the, uh, as the ship goes to red alert, uh, all command crew are summoned to the bridge. Um, like, unless you want to, uh, specifically have them continue to try to follow Crow, even though he's gotten to that turbo lift, all of you should get can to I, the Can I, can I stop the turbo lift? Uh, like, a a individually? Yeah. Can no, because the, the, uh, ship's, like, computer out. systems are still can coming up line. Move. You don't have, like, individual access. Fine. For could, could, yeah. Well, since we saw it and that just happened at the same time, would that be something that would, can I, we'd run to stop it manually? You can try. Yeah, can we, hey, let's yeah, go. Yeah, let's run. Yeah. Okay. Uh, First off, Catch roll for, that gas bag. Yeah. yeah. For, so first off, each of you roll for speed. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> we have a uh, there. I can good idea, that's eight. Fly. Rake, that's ten. Damn, we're pretty fast, man. You are. We are. I want to believe that Syra, like myself, can't drive. <laughs> five. <laughs> really good shooting what do you, stuff. Five? Four. Yeah. Okay. Rake, you get there first. Okay. Um, you uh, get there after the transporter's already left, or the, the turbo lift has already left. You have a small panel on the side of it uh, that is technically sort of the call button. Sure. You want to try to rewire it to stop that particular turbo lift? Yeah. Okay, roll for computers. <laughs> uh, this is your 15. 15, that's right. Nice. Yeah, Rake's kind of a hacker. I love it. Mr. Rakebot. Sombra. Can I... Assist? First person who draws Rake in a hoodie looking all sullen is like oh, my Can I assist uh, his hacking or am I not no, quite you seven. Seven. there? Yet. What was that? Seven. Okay. Nice. Wow. Uh, so that's a full success. Uh, you managed to stop the turbo lift about three decks up. Okay. Do I know where that is? Like, in, like as far as like in relation to the ship? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so it's it's about. Uh, and is it closed? Can I like keep it shut? Uh, no. Oh, so uh, I just stopped no. it. It opened up. You, no, I, you don't know if it's open or closed. Got you it. just stopped it there. Okay, cool. Uh, I, as you, so hold on. Yeah. Um, sure. So as you stop it, uh, it becomes clear that uh, he has stopped somewhere on the uh, uh, on the shuttle bays, uh, oh, which are great. the oh. shuttlecrafts. It's not suspicious um, at all. Yeah, right. Boo. Crow is uh, not suspicious at all. Uh, all right. I don't think he did it. <laughs> I calm them so and let them you, know immediately what happened. I'm building yeah. up yeah. to the world's biggest I told you so. Um, as you um, as you head to the, uh, the, the three of you, I assume, you're already on the bridge. I'm on the bridge. Uh, I need the, the bridge. Are the two of you heading to the bridge? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not much else do you want them there. to come with you, or do you want the ship to be sans pilot and science officer? Um, I, we're going to need a pilot. Yeah. Okay. We, uh, okay. Uh, can you dispatch anybody to try and limit the movements of Major Crow? Can we stop? Any shuttles from leaving? Yeah, you can, can you do? can lock yeah. down the shuttle bays yeah, and you can send uh, security personnel to that sector. Let's do that. All right. All right. Now I need to see what Consider this is about. Consider it done. Cool. So do we're going back to up stay? the bridge. Am I allowed to make that call? Work Whatever. With those it's fine. Yeah, you are. You, you are the head of ship security. Okay. Then yeah. yeah. Shut that shit down. Get that. Get that gas boy. Do you want nice. me? To, do you want me to stay down there, or do you want me up at the bridge? Is there anything more you can do to help in the engine, or is it all coming back online? Yeah, I think the engine's coming back online, but I don't think it is. I think he set the the alarm off. It seems like. Well, no, we don't know what the red alarm is doing. We don't know what it is. It could just be brightest eye approaching or something. Yeah, great. Yes, that's what we need right now. Some brightest eye. I'm. I'm staying calm. I'm acting calm. Deciding. Deciding isn't my job. Captain, Captain, where do you want me? If 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 you've done all you can do to help down there, meet me on the bridge. Bridge, bridge. bridge. Cool. Um, so as you all, uh, the five of you all head onto the bridge. Uh, uh, Lulu, you've already been there. You've been yep. in the captain's chair. Um, and so you were there to see when uh, a uh, uh, when three brightest eye scout ships, no. uh, not like full on warships, just like small scout ships, uh, appeared on your sensors. They're a good deal away and will take some time to get there, but they are closing on your position. Uh, captain, you walk onto the bridge. The rest of you follow. Go. There are three brightest eye vessels. They're small, they're scouting ships, but they, uh, they're heading right for us. Have they contacted us? Nothing yet. Captain, you should know I took the liberty of masking our signature, so while we visually be able to, be able to see who we are, uh, they might not know who we are yet. What? They took a little initiative. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> this might be a good idea that was not your call to make. Okay. They're coming. Uh, can I tell if they've scanned us? Uh, they've not scanned you yet. Okay. How? How close are we to being out of their space? You're, We're in their space by like, like a thousand clicks or whatever market. it is. Yeah. Okay, cool. are, are we we within... can't go back because it's slight. Yeah, 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 I mean, you you could. You could. Your engines die. are not yet on yeah. I don't oh, know. That whole system is still taking time to reboot. Great. I don't so, know the ship's capabilities. Are our hailing systems open? And is this distance far enough for us to make contact? Yes. Also, will they murder us if we say hi? Question mark. Okay, yes. Great. Cool. Captain. This might be a good idea. We have no experience of the brightest eye. They have not been seen in 700 years. I will have to trust your your ex experience on this. As displeased as I am that you took an action that might have antagonized them without consulting with me, your advice would be very valuable right now. I thank you for trusting me with this, and if we all die, it is with my sincere apologies. <laughs> <laughs> your facility for apology is growing quickly, <clears throat> but to the matter at hand. So is the Hail the ship. For it. Hail the ships. And say what? Let me do the talking. Is that wise? Do you speak brightest eye? No. Yes. I, that's a great I idea. Do. 
Dokey dokes. <laughs> Oh, Wait, man. are you going to tell them that we've invaded the ship? Please, like, please make okie dokes your catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> okie dokes. Okey dokes. Do if dokes? you said that in Brightest Eye, that's like the second time that I'd almost like plots myself in the same game. I just be like... <laughs> I did. Wait, I, I, I say that to you in brightest eyes. Is your idea to, to tell them that we've invaded an enemy ship and that we're just like scavenging it? No, my idea is to tell them that we are an experimental vessel meant to masquerade as an enemy combatant. We seem like peacekeepers. We, we are in reality the cutting edge of brightest eye technology. We are a warship meant to kill our enemies brutally, viciously. If you can convince them that you are a bloodthirsty killer who would rather see their enemies ripped asunder and bathe in their blood, then by all means, please hail them and convince them that this is what we are. I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> they are idiots. It'll work. <laughs> Do they not have scan technology? They are not in range yet. But if you have the power of the mother, we can convince them to turn away. I can help you lie. I'm Somehow. really good at being intimidating, guys. He's gonna like stand back because it seems like a super bad idea. He does. It's like, like a super terrible idea. <laughs> With your tone of intimidation and my ability to use words to maximum effect, I believe that this subterfuge could be a good idea. Or it could antagonize them and have them send have for warships that you can just kill need to intimidate. us. I, I can intimidate that we definitely subterfuge. can't fight since our systems okay. are still coming back online. Of course, we need the captain's permission. Well, we've, either way, we're going to be sitting here dead. We've <laughs> invaded enemy territory without any authorization. Uh, I'm going to throw this one to the DM, but I'm pretty sure that is super against my job description. Uh, it is super against your job description, but you do not have a pock hot holding you to your job description. Uh, I have a me holding me to my job description. Absolutely, you do. Uh, can, I, can I apply any kind of a common sense to like uh, figuring out if that's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard? It's not a stupid idea. Okay. Like, it, it, insofar as sure. if anyone was going to be able to talk them into it, like, yeah, he, could do he it. might be able to. Okay. Mm -hmm. The question is whether or not you trust him to do so. Oh. And whether or not he's just going to call and flag them here. Exactly. Well, why would he do that well, he, when he was he's terrified asleep. of the brightest eye? Yeah. I think to, One to save the lives clear. of everyone on the ship, it might be necessary to try this. We can't escape through the slate without repairs and getting our engines back. Oh. <laughs> Bet you wish you'd been a farmer. I was a farmer. <laughs> it was much similar. Captain, either way, they're coming close. They're going to find out that we are a Pakha vessel, whether we do this or not. All right. I pull my gun out and Pretend put it to his head. Wait, and what? I say, <laughs> I pull my gun out, put it to Why his head, you? and I just go, this is how it goes. If you tell them anything and they come and attack us, you're the first one dead. Lieutenant Syra, restrain our pilot. Yep, doing it. All right, Lieutenant, uh, I'm I, I need you both, I need you both to day. roll, I need you both to roll initiative. <laughs> okay, cool. Yes, okay. my initiative is super high. What do I do? Oh, what do I do? I don't know what mine is. Fighting amongst ourselves. <laughs> I'm just trying to get every- <laughs> Who started that? <laughs> huh? Um, so, Rake, that's eight. Syra, that's five. What? Man, why am I bad at everything? <laughs> it's just, it's a you're good at, I nature of where zeros. your numbers are. You're oh, very, very good at punching. I only got a one. So she gets a, All right, Syra, you have, you have, uh, you fall you have the action. What do you do? I just want to restrain him and stop him from the gun pointing. I'm not trying to, like, knock him yeah, out or no anything. Yeah, no problem. You pull him away and yeah. confiscate his weapon. Yeah. I don't get a defense for that? No, because he, she, she's behind you, she's a rock monster. Yeah. And she has I'm the super addition. super big. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. She's not trying to do damage, which is why no. you're not getting a defense. I'm just trying not to escalate the situation when we're already in a very escalated situation. Um, she pulls it down, but as, uh, but as she does... Uh, Captain, you receive, uh, and Syrah, actually, you both receive a calm from Torto. Oh. What's up? <laughs> What's up? I love that. <laughs> Sir, What's the analysis up? came back. We opened the black box on the Pakha's helmet and found a video file. The killer, it's... It's Major Crow. Yeah. yeah. I told you so! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He Sorry. murdered the Pakha. Se security sensors have him heading towards... It looks like he was heading towards the shuttle bay and has turned back. He is now heading towards engineering. No! no! 
I have security officers who... I have security officers not checking in. I... Th I think he may have opened fire on our own personnel. We need to send a security team now. Send the team. Can I go with the team? I really want to kill this guy. Up to your captain. So bad. Um, oh, sorry, captain. Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> Murder <laughs> bot here. Yeah. Hi. Um, I felt too much today. <laughs> uh, if you if you don't need me on the bridge right now, I can take a security team after him because I'm definitely the largest and know the ship better than anyone here. Yes, please. Stop him as quickly as you can. It calms me if anything happens with the situation. I'll be yes. right back. Uh, Sorry, I may I regret this for the rest me, of my she life. She lets me go. I let you go, but I took your. Put your hands on me again back. and see what happens. <laughs> Greg, <laughs> so touchy. Oh, right. Uh, I, I may regret this for the rest of my life. This might be a good idea. Please help us to save the lives of everyone on the ship. What do you need from me? Just some space. All right, so as uh, as you guys figure that out, and feel free yeah. to like sort of whisper amongst yourselves while while this next sort of section goes on, sure. we're gonna lens in on Syra. Awesome. Um, so Syra, <laughs> uh, as chief security, it is now your job to oversee the capture of Major Crow. Yeah. Uh, you head down to engineering, where you're met by security what, what, officer Torto uh, and two what? other guards. Cool. Uh, they usher you to a door labeled as Storage One Three Two Seven F. Torto tells you. Our team has him trapped in there. He's alone, but he could be anywhere inside. Even worse, he's figured out some way to cut the power. We can't seem to fix it. There are no lights at all. It's pitch black in there. How do you want to handle this? I have a light built in. Can you um, see in the dark? Yeah. I, I have a flame. I can see where I'm going. Um, so this is a room I can go into, right? Yes. Do I want to bring my team in with me? That's the question. I guess that's my question. Yeah, they don't. they can't see in the dark. They can't see or, the dark. Or have no flame to light. They don't have flashlights beyond you. Yeah, they I mean, have, they have, they have, yeah, they have flashlights, flashlights, but they're not like naturally. Sure, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my, my flame casts a glow everyone can enjoy. It does. It says that on the box. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I want to go in. I'm going to tell everyone to obviously be armed, be ready. Cause cool. This guy, they all pull their no. scatter beam rifles. Um, but I say the, the object here is to disarm and capture him, not to kill. We do want to question him, obviously how he got into the Paka and how all that happened. So yes, we are trying to capture, not kill. Let's do this. All right. Um, so you head in. Uh, the The area is. Uh, the area seems to be. Um, it's my first onboard murderer. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. The, the area inside seems to be almost entirely pitch black. Um, it's not just a single hangar bay, but a series of hallways that have various oh, manners so of storage. Okay. Yes, yeah. um, it's kind of like uh, it's a it's a large scale storage space. Lots of hallways that are very long, and in each of those hallways are various drums of like chemical compounds and crossing coolant and mm. other various things. Um, there's a, uh, a and as you step in. Uh, your flame generally lights the way. Please roll for uh, perception, which is eight. Oop. All right, one, two, two. That's all okay. I got. Sorry, guess I don't. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, two. Sorry. Uh, Stupid you, sixes. I don't perceive much. It lights. It lights the way, but you don't see much as one of your security officers disappears into the darkness. Oh, great, <sighs> great. Um, <laughs> Oh god, it's he so will help good. Screams. What's his name? <laughs> no. Not Torto. Um, um, do I know what direction he was going? Torto turns. From? Yeah, Torto turns towards the direction okay. with a flashlight, but there's nothing there. Okay. Oh, maybe. Okay. So, can I pursue in that direction? If and you like. Investigate, I guess. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Roll, roll for ten. Roll for ten. Okay. That's your investigation roll. All right. I like the ones that are just the numbers. Yeah, I like them too. Oh god! Oh, oh. no, I'm rolling that again because it was three. <laughs> well, that was a seven. I'll keep it. One, two, three, four, four. Okay. Four. Uh, you uh, you turn down the way and start to investigate down the hallway as another one of your team members suddenly disappears into the darkness the other direction. I should not have brought him in with me. Um, uh, Torto now looks straight up nervous. He turns that way. Red shirts. Crow might be out of his suit. Ditopus are very hard to detect once they're not contained. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Um, oh, shit, dog. I don't know. How do you contain him in that kind of a situation? I'm not. 
biologically sure. Um, yeah, I know, right? Well, I don't want him to be able to get out. Throw him in space? Golly, I don't know. I don't know. Do I have common sense? What should I do? Chem <laughs> chemical compounds? Who knows? Um, coolant? Yeah. Freeze them? Throw coolant at it. It works oh, with everything cool. else. Yeah, coolant is clearly the only thing you have. Uh, no, you, um, well, so I, I, one thing that you might know as yeah. a general thing, yeah. um, you know, your flame can, you know, light other things, right? Okay. It's a kinetic flame. So, like, if you found flammables, you could probably, like, light the thing up more using your flame. Okay. Um, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You can investigate, try to find flammables. That's yeah. like a... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to yeah. do that. All right. To try and light the space up a lot more. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll your investigation. Again, uh, I remind you, you have willpower if you wanted to throw something You also have xenozoology, right? Could that be helping you figure out how to stop a gas man? Nah, that's no, xeno... This is like more xenoanthro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's... I mean, I'll, I'll do... Well, I haven't... I sort of try to hold it to, to animals okay. when I deal with, you know, zoology. Oh, you could, you yeah, could zoology, to, yeah. You could bring that question, you could, you could call the bridge and ask for advice. Can I do that? Should I? Call to you. What I think, I'm gonna do my investigation thing first, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then if that doesn't work out, I'm calling the bridge. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. six. Hey, hey. Nice. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, you find a small drum of industrial cleaner um, that has a chemical warning and a hazardous label on it. It's highly flammable. Okay. Um, the, uh, however, you don't see much that you can actually like use as a torch, yeah. short of your body itself. So if you wanted to say like dunk your fists in or one fist in. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say do I want to have like Wayne fire fist? fists? Yeah. Is that a question? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I want to do that. Just, and I go, I go, yeah. I go. Hey, hey, Totoro, you want to see something cool? <laughs> Kaboosh! <laughs> your fists light on fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you, you hold it up to your head. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the room cool. suddenly lights up much more. Yeah. Um, as it does. Every fan artist is just like, I oh know, my yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, first person to draw that, let's get it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, both of your fists, you kind of like stand a little bit taller. Mm -hmm. And uh, way in the distance, yeah. you hear kuklunk. Kuklunk, kuklunk, and out now revealed by the ex expanse of the light yeah, is sure. Major Hro, who has uh, expanded his Ditopa suit. This is something that these suits can do uh, to make himself a physical match for you. It's much larger. It's about your size. It's got you know full on like big old arms. It's got big old legs, uh, and it is you know kind of battle hardened. Uh, it lo he, he steps out into the middle of the hallway and looks you down. You could not leave well enough alone. Somebody's got to stop you, gas bag. <laughs> oh, man. This is the end of the road. I don't know why you did this, but we're going to find out. As if I was not upset enough having to serve under a human. When I found out I was being demoted to that so that dangerous monster could become our science officer. I became, I was Go on. <laughs> I needed an explanation. Why didn't you ask? Why did it come to this? I did. I asked and I saw in that, in that Paka that I have trusted my whole life I saw secrets, dark secrets. I didn't want to kill it, I just, I wanted to know why. I didn't want to follow orders blindly. But now, now we're all going to die. What did you see? I saw the darkness behind the Paka's eyes. I saw what lie within. All right, can I try? Sorry to break. This is really good attention. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I try to subdue him? Because I want to ask more questions with the captain. It's not just my call here. So you want to attack? Also, did Totoro just like run? <laughs> no, no, no. He's behind you. He's, he's backing you up. Um, he's like little backing behind me. Like, yeah, he's hey. he's crouching. He'll roll initiative unless you tell him to leave. Um, does he have a weapon? Yes, he has a rifle. Can I try and disarm him? 
Oh, you mean the the crow? No, the crow. Yeah. Crow does not have a rank. Okay, no. can I try and at least subdue him? Yep, attack time. I know we're of the same size, but yep. if, I, if I don't fight him, it's wasted time. Also, do I get any kind of like a bo a boost for having yes, fire do. hands? Yes, Hell you yes. do. Uh, your, your, not only do your hands now do melting damage, which yeah. will probably help with the, you know, metal carapace, yeah. but, uh, they also now do two more damage, just by nature of the fire. Great. Um, which will recur as flaming damage if you were hitting something that could catch on fire. The, this suit can but, yeah. like, other shit can. Okay. Um, so for what it's worth, uh, we're gonna have you roll initiative. And it's worth a lot, because this is how, combat. How are the rest of us supposed to compete with <laughs> a giant flame-handed rock monster fighting a literal gas-filled Gundam? <laughs> like, I just imagine I'm the thing from Thor, that metal. Like, yeah, 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 that's actually yeah. Yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. 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 I imagine, like, yeah. What am I like? It's like, it's like that, but with yeah. like yeah. Yeah. Cool dwarven guys. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. 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 Very sexy cat. All right, right. Skyrim. so uh, you rolled a five, what you roll? I love what that about it. Really? Oh, you're, I'm sorry, your initiative is, <laughs> oops, your initiative is five. Oh, I rolled five. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he rolled a five, so you will need to get a full five just to, <laughs> you, so you might want to throw willpower into this or just take the first Yeah. Uh, it's up to you. Let me, let me chuck two willpower into that. Sounds good. Yeah, nice. Initiative. Wait, well, what is initiative? Is that just who you goes go first? first? Who goes first? Oh, never mind. He can hit me first. I can take it. Um, okay. so oh, baller move. Um, I'm a giant rock monster. Oh, dang. Um, Every time you say rock one, monster, two, rock monster gets Yeah, rock two. monster, yes. I just got two. Rock monster. Okay. Yeah. He's punching me. Yep. Uh, he roars, rolling forward at you. Uh, It'll be the darkness that kills us all! And he rolls forward and he just throws a giant haymaker at you. Roll defense. Okay, uh, and... Defense is four Sorry, for I'm you. still learning this. Four? Yep. Dang, these things are low. Um, one? Okay. <laughs> Uh, so he does damage. Yeah. Uh, Good thing we didn't follow this guy, second. huh? Yeah, right? Jesus. That would have been bad. Yeah. Cool. But you have a natural armor of eight. It's um, true. His, uh, and his fist damage is only nine, so mm -hmm. he does one damage to you. Oh, he got rid of all my armor? With that punch? Yeah, well, it doesn't, it doesn't strike the armor off. The armor yeah. just soaks. Okay. So oh, the armor will awesome. soak every round. Yeah, okay. that's crazy, dude. Okay. Yeah. That's so fun. he. So, so he I lost one health? Yeah. Oh, so I only have 11. Okay. Um, only have 11 health. Only have 11. So I, I was know. just like, I'll remind you, good ideas starting health is nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is eight. I was yeah. bragging. Eight. It's fine. Yeah. So I block him. Yep. In you, a way. You, yeah. Hurts. I mean, he, yeah, he, 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 I, I figure it's more of a like, because it's not a full success, so it's not really a block. He probably like, like punches, not, you know, in the like head. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you do one of those like, <laughs> Like, looks like, oh, you thought you were gonna knock me over, but And no. I go like, oh, I've been waiting for you to do that for a long time. <laughs> like a week, I guess. Yeah. But it feels good to say it. Yeah. Um, all weeks. right. So yeah. I want to fire punch this dude. Nice. Roll, yeah. roll. Um, that's 12. Nice. Finally. Roll Finally, a decent me. number. Uh, and his defense is gonna be weakened by the fact that you have fire. And again, I'm not trying to kill him. I'm yep. trying to subdue him. Can you not kill someone with flaming hands, though? And you can yeah, control how much suit. flame. His he suit, is technically a robot is, in a suit. Here, here's the trick. Flame he's a, he's, right? the, the, the gas monster is what you need to subdue. So you either need to shut down the... Because he can always leave the suit. So oh, you're going to need to yeah. shut down the suit. Yeah. Hi. Um, I only got four. Okay. But that's at least a little punch. Yep. Uh, your... This is really intense. Yeah. I love yeah. it. <laughs> your damage is 12 to... Uh, okay, you hit him for six damage. Nice. Uh, that, uh, so you, you smash him, he like flies backwards. He knocks down a bunch of cans of shit as he like falls backwards down the way of the, uh, of the hallway, uh, landing like sort of against the wall and he looks up at you. <clears throat> and he's got a huge dent in his chest now, like, like melted, broken dent in his chest. And I turn around and wink at Totoro. Like, <laughs> wasn't that cool? Do you um, eyes? Do you have eyes to wink? Yeah, Is that I her wink? flame just kind of I flickers. Eyes. Yeah. I feel like I have a sort of, I can change. It's you can change the face structure, face. right? So you, you, you create she turns a face into that one, winks. Into one yeah. wink. It's yeah, just yeah. Like, I love it. Just one big eyeball one wink. One big eyeball uh, do you, wink. Do, do you want him to stay in attack? <laughs> what do you mean? Do you oh, want okay. him to stay in attack? Um. Because he'll attack next. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, sure. If we're 
wearing him down, yeah. Okay. Totoro, do some damage. But if he goes to fire on Totoro, I'm gonna try and block it. Can I do that? Yep. Like try and take the hit? Yep. Because he's little and, is he Kure? Yeah. Or, yeah, okay. Um, but he doesn't have a firing device, he just has his like suit, so. Okay. You're, you're already essentially blocking him off. Okay. It's almost like a free action just by bringing this guy in. Sweet. Uh, eight. This is where I get to roll for everybody. Uh, Torto's a really good shot. Um, he fires and actually like burns a little bit more through that hole, uh, creating even more of a like instability in the thing. So that once the suit is breached, the mm -hmm. suit is almost useless. So that's like a good weak spot to keep hitting. He okay. hits it, doing three more damage. But if the suit is breached, does the, his gaseous form escape? It will, but there's really no way to stop that. Like okay. there's no way to lock him inside the suit. That's, so you said shutting the suit down would help. I, it, it mean, if you can, yes. Let me put it this way. If you can break the suit yeah. and melt the ducts through which he gets out of it, you could trap him in the suit. Can I melt them with like fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what these fists are for. So like, okay. it, now that you've sort of like asked about that, done a little bit of investigation, you want to target yeah. that on your next attack? Yes. You definitely can. Yeah, I want but to trap gonna, him in the suit. Yeah, but he's going to take an attack first. Okay, that's fine. Um, so he uh, he stands up charging at you again, this time grabbing one of the coolants that's fallen and trying to hurl that at you. Cool. I have athletic dodge. Yes, you do. I used uh, a thing. I yeah. remembered a thing. Well, no, that uh, that Is should that add. That's awesome. Uh, that basically just adds to your defense. So you should roll five for your defense, not four. Okay. Sorry, that's on me. That's fine. Um, so go ahead and roll five okay. for your defense right now. I love this intense music. I yeah, know. this is excellent. Such good fight music. Ooh, oh, three, three zeros. Thank you. Three zeros. Thank you, Sirenscape. Yeah. Thank you, Sirenscape. What and uh, and what 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 was the full round? What do you mean? How many? Oh, three. Oh, it was three, but they were all zeros. Yeah. <laughs> no, but she. We, we, yeah, right. We yeah. rolled five. That she. Yeah, 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 yeah I rolled I five, you. and yeah, I got. But that's good. I got like a four and a one, and then three. Uh, and yeah. Some better success. You dodge it. Yeah. Swings over you, you duck down and dodge, and he his uh, his sort of big metal fist just swings right around you uh, and collides the um, the thing that he's holding collides with the wall, exploding on his own hand. Yes. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. Doing two damage to Cool it. Nice. That <laughs> cool it, man. Guys, be cool. careful. His his suit, by the way, has twenty structure, and yeah. it's done eleven damage. Nice. Um, but if you do twenty structure before you get this thing, that's a problem. So you gotta you gotta get at that. We'll see how this next roll goes. You're gonna okay. attack his uh, his uh, escape hatch, basically. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's what we said we should do. Yeah, yeah that's okay. what you said. Cool. Yeah. All right. So Go for it. How many? Roll, uh, that's your brawl, which is I believe 14 at this 14. time. 14. Hell yeah. Or no, 12. I'm sorry, 12. Damn it. <laughs> I, I like your first one. Um. Okay. Is this including my whole like hard hands thing? That's that's yes. all worked into there. Okay. Cool. All right, let's see here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five. Also three zeros again. Getting a lot of zeros today. Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah, five. So you, um. Sorry guys, it'll be over soon. So that's a success. No, this is the best. So you target him, punching him in the, like right in the chest where his escape hatch is. Yeah. Uh, you hit there and you like turn up the heat, right? You're just trying to like yeah, yeah turn it up the heat. Yeah. So you start to melt him and you're you now it's a matter of um, which one of you essentially ends up dominant in this situation. So this is a strength check. Uh, you're essentially like locked into like a you know rock meets hard place situation and you're trying to like, <laughs> get him over. Oh, yeah, ha! Yeah. Rock meets hard thing so situation. Good. Um, so uh, go ahead and roll for a strength feat. This is. Like, also 12. Yeah, it was like, it's literally what I'm built to do. Yep. Um, okay, 12. Let's do this. Beat a four. And the uh, degree to which one. you beat a four determines how good this goes for you. Two. Four. I got four. Wow, color. Really? We tied. All right. So, you maintain locked in for a round oh. as you try to do this damage, but he's right up against you, which means he also has you point blank for attack. Um, okay. uh, Torto has seen what you're trying to do and tries to help you by firing on that. Yes, see please. how well he does. This is no, up to whether or not he can no, no, no. do special targeting. We'll <laughs> he see. Like shoots you in the back. He rolls really low. His blast goes wide, uh, instead setting off a couple of explosions behind, but not doing any damage to anyone. I do not want to get him. Huh. 
Uh, Wink denied. Wink denied. Roll, roll your defense, please. Um, but you cannot dodge, so just roll defense. So just four? Yeah. Okay. And he's gonna put like everything he's got. In uh, one. <laughs> oh, two. Okay. Oh, two. Sorry, two. Doesn't help me much though, right? Uh, no. It, well, I mean, it helps you a little bit. Uh, he does four damage. Okay. So is that absorbed by my armor? No, no, no. That's after armor absorption. Oh, okay, so I'm down to seven. seven. All right. Um, this cool. is basically, imagine this is a point blank punch, so his damage is much higher. Yeah, all he right. smashes you in the chest, uh, like, sort of over and over again, trying to, like, chip you away. Uh, he's clearly freaking out. He knows what you're doing. Um, he's like, no, you can't! I can't stay here! And he's just, like, punching you. And I watch, like, one pebble come off my armor and, like, trickle down <laughs> to the ground, and I'm like, so mad. <laughs> what do you do? Um, punch it again? Like yep. I don't, I don't. There's not really much else to do at this point. I can't like. Nope. You throw willpower into the punch though. Yeah, I am gonna do that because I didn't use any. Um, so I, what is that? Twelve again? Uh, so that would be twelve plus whatever you want. Okay, I'm gonna throw two other ones in there. Cool. Um, or you could activate your sword. You know, you have that sword that you can manifest. Yeah, but I don't want to kill him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I want to punch. Punching things into submission, I guess, is just like what I do. Yeah, the right on. Way. It's the Syro way. How many are you, how many will probably put in? Two. Okay. So it's 14 all together. Yep. All right. So, oh my God, this is terrible. It, but one, his defense is also low because he's so yeah, close One, two, now. three, four, five. Okay. Dang. Five and four. Okay, yeah, that works. Yes. You pull back and you punch so hard that the thing just like fuses around your fist and you shove the suit down locking the suit into place. Um, you are uh, straight up, like, essentially standing over him uh, as uh, as he, you know, cries out, No, you! I! My! And he, like, passes out. Uh, he's now locked inside the yeah! suit. You stand over him. You've taken him in. I do wink at Totoro this time. <laughs> Porto <laughs> just secretly like takes a picture. Yeah, like, that was amazing. <laughs> um, for the case. Uh, and I go, and, and uh, that's for being weirdly racist on top of the murder. <laughs> yeah. yes. Not acceptable on this ship. Meanwhile, back on the bridge. No. Those ships are on their way towards you. Thank uh, you, everyone. <laughs> what's the decided course of action? Oh, we're going with his plan and just trying to stay alive till we can get out of here. What are we doing? We're gonna hail him. Do we need to hide? Or are we just doing an audio hail? Uh, no, we are gonna be hiding. Well, uh, you will be hiding. Okay. We'll position the camera and or black it out just so it appears, you know, that as traditional to brightest eye communications, it's the tongue doing the communicating. Mm -hmm. um, the camera will be on me. With your permission, I would be feigning being acting captain. I'm the only one that speaks brightest eye. It's the best we've got. You will have to be my ears and my other tongue in this scenario. I wouldn't trust anyone more. Okay. Okay, so, uh, hold on I'm a gonna, second. I'm gonna do a sidebar with bro here. Rake, you need to hold it the hell together during this. What? They're gonna do their plan. I know, but I'm gonna side I mean, that's what I was gonna say. Like, I, I can't uh, bolster, even though I have like great subterfuge. I really, unless I can tell her what to say, can yeah. I bolster her at all? Not only if you're like literally feeding her stuff, which you kind of have to let her run on her own. On yeah. This spot. Okay. No, Friend yeah. Rake, we're friends, right? No, we're not. Excellent. If you could do anything to keep us a little calm, this is <laughs> relatively high stress. You want a pheromone we call can... in the situation? Yeah, I guess so. We can tag team that. Well, you know, I Well, you gotta be doing some other talking. stuff. Yeah, right? you're like. Yeah, what can I do to help you? You have to be talking to him off camera so they think that they're actually. No, I know, I'm gonna be yeah. talking, but I mean. We, we could all we use a little calm. calm. together, is what I mean. Right? It's just, it's kind of an active thing. The oh, thing, okay. The, the yeah. Thing. So, and like, it, you can't just sort of be doing it as a passive action. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I would just, I mean, I mean it would but, be like. Well, like Rick, you're gonna help, no surprises? I mean, I, what am I doing right now besides waiting? Well, you and I are gonna be up. We're about to go into this. Yeah, I know. So. Okay, yeah, so uh, I just bolster, yeah. Great. Uh, okay, so. Uh, 
Oh, this I added is one to my pheromones. I'm not sure what. Manipulation, your empathy, your persuasion, your pheromones. And because she's there, I'm going to give you the bolster for sibling connection. Oh, cool. Great. Cool. Uh, and you're drunk. <laughs> I love that. Every time you Ten. say it. Still figuring out how to make this music. Uh -huh. I love sirens. Yeah, yeah. Um, they come back at us. I'm gonna try and calmly, and then if it goes to shit, then you bark. What do you got? Three. Okay. Does not work out so well. Okay. Um, like you, you have, you have a. Like, we're gonna give you a like uh, plus one to your composure. Okay. Okay. Um, could be the difference between life and death. I know. Hi, Barbara. Hey. To both of you, by the way. Oh, to me too? Yeah. Okay. Um, just remember that. Keep that on your on your mind as we go through. Okay. Uh, okay, so the uh, the vessels are approaching. Yes, no, sir. Uh, you want to hail them? He didn't hear you. you want to hail Is that them. the idea? <laughs> yep. Okay. The hail goes off, and Shit. a tongue responds. Oh. Uh, do you want it on screen or just on audio? Uh, just on audio. Okay. Greetings. I am humble friend. You have a confusing signature. We received reports of a Pakha Peacekeep vessel in this space. And yet, our long-range scans of your telemetry indicate that you are a brightest eye vessel. We have no ship on such communications. Please explain. You would not have such a ship on communications. Greetings, humble, friend. humble friend. I am Secret Keeper, and we are the Shadow Darkness. <laughs> Please take your vessels and retreat from this area immediately by orders of the deepest mother of the brightest eye. Uh, roll for your lying. Uh, hold on a second. You have high scepter views too, right? And we can't understand any of this, right? Only I these don't two. think well, so, not, no. Yeah, really? this, is all, this, is all, this is all spoken in brightest eyes, so the only two that can understand yeah. There's no translator for that, huh? Nope. No. We Google what they're saying. It's like, thank God you're a nerd. Persuasion. I mean, I'm staying calm, so like, time. I haven't been like, what are you doing? Yet, so. Appreciating <laughs> He's saying good things so yeah. far. Subterfuge. My God. And. But also. Uh, your normal break. your normal lie is 18, but because you're lying to a brightest eye and know some extra stuff, I'm gonna give you a 20. Nice. Pretty good roll. Five. I'm gonna dump some willpower Five. in there just to Five. make sure that you succeed really well. Five. Beat an eight. All the willpower. Eight. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead. No, break is a good point. I'll dump some willpower into this. My overall willpower is eight. I'm gonna go ahead and drum three in. Cool. You have high willpower. I do have yeah, high you have willpower. Crazy willpower. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh God. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah! Holy shit. Ah! Wow. Holy ah! shit, we made it. Well, we don't <laughs> celebrate we, yet. We just said hello. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Secret keeper. My concordance indicates no such vessel as the shadow darkness. I do not recognize the authority of your name nor rank, for the concordance has no record of you. Please explain. This is the captain of the sea. Uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, Shadow Darkness. Of the Shadow, Shadow darkness. darkness. You are encroaching on a classified mission. If you value your insides, staying inside your inferior bodies. I advise you to turn and leave now. Okay, Lulu, roll for intimidation, please. Woo! That's 14. I'm gonna put some willpower in this. Mm -hmm. 
But oh, I don't have very much. Into everything. Uh, and I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I, yeah, and I think uh, he's gonna naturally bolster you on this for his okay. knowledge. So go ahead and throw four on top of this. Four on top of. Okay. So yeah. Fifteen. Two, so it's eighteen. Four. Is your base roll? Is that with the plus one that I gave them? That's to uh, composure. That, that's for oh, composure, composure, which is not oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 it's right. 18. Yeah, you just kept them calm so that they could do this. Cool, cool, cool. Freaking. As per usual, everyone in my game is always on the nerve on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Yeah, you said like Lucy right? Bard right now. Yeah, love it. <laughs> Lucy Bard is sitting at me like. Okay, ah. I'm jumping in. <laughs> two, two of our. Lulu turns back. I'm the captain all of it. now. All of it? Oh yeah. God, okay. amazing! Look at, Look at me. Five willpower. Just kidding. Uh -huh. Wow, five willpower. <laughs> Luvin's throwing it all in. That's her entire willpower check. Oh, don't I, die! I, I know. Twenty-three. I, I'm not gonna do all of it. Oh no! I, okay. that, I, I, just, I don't have that. We have to succeed. If you, no, if no, you no, don't, no, no. this is the role that needs to well, succeed. What do I have to do with survival? We will You're not going to. This I, is literally the only role that matters okay, right now. Okay, okay, shush, shush, shush. I, I don't gonna... have the thing where I can restore willpower yet, right? No. <sighs> okay, shoot! I lost count. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Uh, Syra has eight, something that can do that, 16, but 18, it's, it's at a very 20. low level right now. Okay. 23, you said 23? Yes. Uh -huh. Ooh, that's a lot of dice. It is. Juicy dice. Save us. No, my God. I Come mean, on. for justice and honor. Um, I think it's really important that we'll, we'll deal with that in a second. What happened? Uh, Tom oh, Campana, our official concept artist, did my Mr. Robot Rake thing. <gasps> <laughs> it's on Twitter. It's super great. Wait, what are you doing? I will oh, find it. Of... Just uh, search yeah. hashtag fast. Mm -hmm. okay. Alpha, Alpha great. just retweeted it. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going. I'm going to All right. It. How are it's we doing? Good. It's good. It's good. It's a good roll. It's a very good roll. Okay. Okay. I got an eight. Okay. Oh, God. Amazing. It's full. It's full, but I have to run against him. He might so roll really cool. high. A four. <gasps> oh man! Ah, it's so scary. Intimidating and nerdy. <laughs> um. Ho! Oh. Greatest captain. I understand now why the concordance did not inform me of your activities. Let me reintroduce myself. My name is You Could Use a Humble Friend. I am here for service only. Please understand, I meant no offense and no harm. However, it is important that you leave this sector at once. The slate is encroaching. Humble friend, trust us when we say that we know fully well the dangers of this zone and its slate related issues. There's a reason that our scan, that your scans revealed us to be both two things at once. We are a ship of mystery and danger. But if you value the lives of yourselves and your crew, you are the ones who should flee. Uh. Immediately. Uh, all right, last, last lie. Really? Yeah. Help, like, you're trying to get them to go away shit. immediately. Yeah. So I'm making your roll. I want them to go away immediately. Yep. Uh, so your base roll like is, uh, we said 20? Yes. Okay. I'm just like chilling with this knocked out dude, I guess. Five. Yeah, you're just sitting. Uh, Why well, assume you're, you're taking him, him right to the brig, right? <laughs> I'm just like sitting on him playing like, solitaire on my phone. <laughs> you, took him, you took him to the wolves? <laughs> and you're just like, you're like, hey wolves. Keeping it out of I got you a toy. Me and Totoro are go ahead and drop bracelets. four willpower <laughs> like into this. completely oblivious to everything that's happening on this ship. That's fine. Drop four willpower on this. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Roll to five. Oh, mm. oh God. Mm. Mm. The uh, humble friend checks in. Indeed, 
I shall leave confirming your... Confirming both your existence and uh, your mission with the concordance upon further inspection. However, for now, I bid you a good farewell. This is Humble Friend out. And the ships proceed to turn around. As they do, your vessel, uh, computers and engines, oh, thank God. reboot back online. Captain, it's your bridge. That hail is closed. I don't know what you said, but it looks like it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, I, uh... we unfortunately have very little time before it stops working, Captain. This might be a good idea. Everyone on this ship owes you their lives. I help too, you know. Yeah. Without, <laughs> without my good friend, of course. W- without, without Commandant, without Commandant Luvin Yikjani Moore, Newer Yikjal Moore, without Commandant Luvin Yikjal Moore. We would never have been able to survive. Uh, this victory goes to her. That was amazing. You were terrifying. All right, let's get this. Let's get out of here. Where do we go? We can't go back through the slate. We don't have enough hull light power. What are we? There's gonna do? nowhere else to go. We have to fix ourselves up as well as we can and get the heck um, out of here. So with the engineering reboot, your shields are restored. Great. Nice. Uh, so for whatever it's worth, there you all, the only damage you're dealing with is two in hull. Okay. So you have three hull, but you you have five shields back. Can we? Okay, but here's the question. Yes. Where? How far are we from where we were already going into the brightest eye? Because that's where our, our destination so, yes. was. So yes. So your destination was in fact to go to the brightest eye and offer them aid. So if you want to proceed to try to do that, that is still a thing that is like technically that was the last mission your Paka gave you. Now that said, it is the operational like uh, it is the general operational rule when a Paka you go like, back like you you shouldn't be operating without a Paka. Yeah. Is there um, a shortest route through the through the? There is one route through, which is through. All but right. you make, but but that said, like how fast or how well you make it through is entirely determined by your hell roll. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> what's up? Mm. Liars. Can I, liars. Can I tell these guys liars. what's up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, in. Can Lieutenant Sauer, do you have an update for us? Can we say that I've taken him into custody Absolutely. or somewhere yes. like that? Yeah, assume that assume you literally, ha- you have Crow in a brig. I, I spent that time. Yeah. Um, sorry, I'm getting texts, doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> By the uh, way, we have we have combat art. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? Oh, yes. You wanna, you wanna, uh, ah, wanna give that to me? So sure. Much. I'll show it to the fans. Sure. So yeah, it's I real good, to, I know. I've, I, I, I like, didn't to listen to the fight because I was watching it being dropped. Oh, yeah. Combat art. It's so good. Smash, smash, smash. Oh, I guess that's not a rude gesture. Um, what did you do? Right. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you for the theme song. Yeah. I love it so oh. much. It's really, it was really just the Terminator theme song. Yeah, yeah, I know, I love that. I love that. Yeah, it's for copyright. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, no, it wasn't. General drums. Yeah. Rick, what you are not aware of is that situations, the situation has changed. Lieutenant Tara, did you have an update for us? Yeah, so some stuff happened. Um, how's it going up there? Uh, we are looking a lot better than we were a minute ago. Yeah, so um, that's good. Uh, I was right about Crow. Oh my God. Yeah, no, sorry about that. Uh, I was right. Um, anyway, uh, I have taken him into custody. Oh, hey, side question for you. Those two people that he grabbed and pulled aside, did I like find them or oh, they just are they gone? Dead? <laughs> Uh, no, you, you found them. They both, yeah, they've both been knocked out, but they're okay, not killed. Okay, but they're they're fine. Okay, yeah. cool. Just wanted to make sure they didn't get like disappeared into non-existence. No, no, I would no, feel pretty bad about that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, turns out they're heading Crow, to to the to the nurse. As far as I can tell, uh, Crow wanted some answers from the Paka. I'm probably having you just oh, tell welcome. me this, by the way. Yeah. What? Yeah. What's up? I oh, thought you said something. Just... Oh no, no, I was just I was identifying the nurse. I was trying to remember the nurse's name. Nurse Pawaka. Okay. Yes. So, I was just going to specify, you're, I'm probably having you explain this just to me. Yeah, I'm not yelling into like the whole bridge. Am that I would still yeah. this? cause no. panic. Um, I'm just causing her. So, uh, yeah, uh, he tried to um, connect to the Paka, saw something he didn't like. Um, he said a lot about the darkness, the never ending darkness, that he knew too much. It was a lot. I punched him until he was not talking. <sighs> and 
<gasps> I'm sorry. I just, it's what I do. And no, I'm terribly glad. He's in custody now. Uh, I figured you would want him for questioning and uh, he did not uh, manage to injure anyone severely. I I'm a little banged up, but you know, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Um, and so yeah, I mean, that's going on. Uh, how's the bridge? Uh, Sounds like things are better. So everything must be fine. It's I mean, better, but we don't have a lot of time. Okay. Uh, if you could make your way back up to the bridge, as long as somebody's looking out for him, I'm, I'm so glad you're okay. I'm so glad you caught him. We have some more to deal with here. Should have seen this thing I did with it. Okay, it's fine. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bridge. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm going to the bridge. So when cool. this lane is encroaching on the brightest side, but like, not so fast that us leaving right now is a humanitarian crisis, right? Well, so uh, the Paka will try to send other vessels yeah. in your place for Good. sure. Uh -huh. um, if you leave now. Yeah. Uh, now that your computer systems are back up, the other Pakhan know what's up. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, so they're they're sending you messages saying, you need to get back. We will bring, like, we yeah, will bring Yeah, can we assume I have informed yeah. them that there's been a murder yeah. and we have a murderer in custody and also we've accidentally landed in brightest eye space, but we're getting out of here as soon yeah, as we immediately, can. Yeah, immediately get out. They will send their own diplomatic solution there uh, soon to deal with this. Mm -hmm. um, they, You have a more pressing uh, issue here, which is that this murderer needs to be delivered to Paca space yep. uh, to be interrogated and, and understood uh, and then face justice. Uh, and then you will have new orders uh, at that point. Can we interrogate him before he gets taken? Absolutely. There's Would nothing stopping to you. Do that. There is nothing stopping you. We'll probably open the next game with that. Okay. Uh, cool. Great. So now, I, I assume it would take a long time for us to repair our hull. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Hull, hull repair is like a space dock issue. Yeah. Rake, we really need you. All the drinking. Is, is there... <laughs> so I did not see Did I just see that? So much drinking. Do I just... Do, do, I just hold my finger out there. Do you... He drinks in front of you. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, let's oh, do God. it. When go you hire Rake, this go is the what slate. you get, Lucy. Let's do it. <laughs> just get us home. Then we'll deal with it. Okay, cool. You ready to all get right. out of the brightest eye? Oh, that's all I've wanted since the very start. Uh, can I use the ship scanners to help bolster the flying ace through the juice? Nope, scanners don't do shit in the, in the slate, unfortunately. Ah, Sorry. Buns. The slate is a real bad place for anything that's not flying really fast. Yep. So, with that in mind, your engines are back up, your, uh, your computer seems to be working perfectly well now. You can do this, you can do it. Uh, uh, at full capacity. So, we can do it. Rick, we believe in you. We can do it. I believe in so you. Good. Great. Can uh, I go him? ahead and roll can for piloting, please. Can I fair on him please. to bolster him a little? What was that? Can I fair on him to bolster him? Yeah, absolutely you can. I'm going to throw my uh, three uh, But keep in mind, it's going to be less power. effective than it normally would be. No, oh, I know. Oh, did right. he yelling it that we help. need him, help him in any way with command, command or persuasion roll? or whatever? Uh, no, that doesn't help. That Damn. He's going to do it, he's going to do it. Fine. Eight. Okay. As she starts a long speech, I just go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got this. What you don't understand about the circumstances, <laughs> Rake, is that in this moment of our need. Yeah. Uh, so, Rake, like, you got 15. Go, man. Put headphones on. Uh, have, you, have you used your... your I, I only used one, so I've got okay. two left, which it. I'm going to do right now. Great. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to do that. I need that. Okay. Go for it, man. I got a four. Uh, then you can add one. I give you one. One, one. one extra juice. One more juice. No pressure, guys. We're just all gonna die. Okay. How many What's are hauling right now? 18. Captain? It's a pretty good honor. What? Yeah. What's our we hauling? Got, we're fine. What's our hauling? Yeah, uh, we're all good. Three out of five. Two. But our shields are back. Full shields. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay. Seven's good. Seven's not bad. We're happy with seven. Nine would have been big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seven. Yeah. You need to stand four rounds in the slate. Same, same way you came in, time. same way you're getting out. All right. Cool. Okay. Um, as the ship, uh, as the ship flies into the uh, uh, the energy wave, getting engineer? closer and closer to you. This time, you guys aren't so out of control and panicking. You really get to like take a look at it. The slate is awe-inspiring. Uh, it is a, for all intents and purposes, a, a wall uh, of white light extending up, down, both directions, endlessly. Um, a, a, uh, a, a swirling, strange, bright space. As you enter towards it, it is blinding. 
Uh, it, it is, it's actually a little bit hard just to even look at the screen. Rake, you find yourself probably mostly piloting using your, your console, less so your eyes, because you can't see Jack. Uh, Raise your hand if this destroyed your world and you hate it. <laughs> oh yeah, roll for composure, Lucy. Great. I mean, I wasn't born then, but I hated my reputation. Well, yeah, but you're, of, of all of these, the only one who, like, knows anybody who knows anybody who might have known the Slate back then. So, like, that's actually a fair I was raised on a lot of old Earth stories. Yeah. Um, uh, so we're going to roll a composure roll. I haven't had to do that yet. Nope. I'm going to make it for you. But you actually have a really good composure. Yes. Here She's as cold as ice. I'm gonna be <laughs> Captain Lucy Bard. 13. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nice. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I so nice. Can land it. Can land it. Ten, eleven. You said thirteen. Yep. Can I borrow two? Oh yeah. Yeah. Get in there. Thank you. There's, there's probably You're no. You're so pretty. I didn't want to mess with you. The slate has been scanned right to high heaven by yeah, all sorts right of things, so there's really no need to scan for more juice. You're not gonna get junk out of here. Okay. I mean, you can try. Obviously, like that's your. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Like, what's you have a curiosity about it as well? Yeah. Two. Not my best roll. Oh, it's okay. It's actually fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you're okay. So I hate it, you but I'm keeping it together. Yeah, this is hard for you, but since you're not like having to be super active, go ahead and just kind of run this through from your character. I, I think a, the echoes of the past, you know, but not like, oh God. Um, <laughs> That's why I joined the Peace Keep. Now, a weird thing happens. Um, as you fly through the slate, the slate seems to, rather than like buckling around you like it did before, it seems to part around you a little bit. Uh, you actually end up skipping three full turns out of that, you know, four turns that you had to be there. Oh. Uh, just by nature of whatever is happening to your, to you, your ship, and your situation. Um, your science systems all kind of go a little glitchy. The ship doesn't go any faster. Uh, it's not like you like pick up winds or anything. Uh, something weird is happening around your ship uh, <laughs> regarding this. The uh, do I look up? I mean, do I, do I, do I have like an observation or anything like that, or like? Captain, should I scan for? Uh, do you want to? Hold, hold up! Hold up! <laughs> hold up! Uh, hold up! Uh, what's yeah. up? Yeah, I just. Do I? Do you I... want to look back and perceive? Yeah. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll for perception. That's eight. Hey, what are you trying to perceive? Just what, just what the fuck's up? Oh, cool. Okay. He's just looking at his console to sort of get a sense of what's going on. I like it. Oh man, I only got a two. Uh, this doesn't see anything. Um, in fact, all of you were so busy looking at the slate and kind of freaking out. Uh, None of you see that the eyes in Good Idea's head have rolled back. <gasps> oh no! Oh, did they? However, as you hit the end of the slate, the uh, the slate seems to then collapse around you, uh, almost as if it catches how much it has opened and waves back. The ship is rocked. Got a rock, guys. Come on, guys. Yes. Come on. Jeff, come on. There you go. There you, there you go. go. Uh, <laughs> the ship is rocked for seven damage. Oh, which, is a, which is a straight up miracle oh. that you guys are at eight. Um, this is actually weird. This happened with the brightest eye, too. Uh, you. Your shields collapse, your hull collapses, but you get out of the slate and oh, find yourselves wow. on the other side with a fully operational ship. Good idea. Your head snaps back. You kind of blacked out there for a second. That was weird. But no one else saw it. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, good. Okay, great. That's fun. That doesn't That doesn't bode well, though. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Uh, and you end up here uh, on the other side of everything, uh, clear of brightest eye space and heading back towards the peacekeeper. Take us home. <laughs> <laughs> Take us home. Uh, I'm, I'm napping in the mid bay. <laughs> uh, Captain Bart. Uh, as you set course for the nearest Peace Key base, uh, good idea, uh, 
it, it, you you are you are reminded by uh, the counselor by counselor Stu uh, that the security anklet that you placed on him uh, is still there. Uh, some amount of heroism uh, being the case here, uh, he suggests that you reconsider that. Lou? Don't do it. Uh, so you, do you call Lou into your office? Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Okay. Louvin, you arrive in Commander Bard's office. Captain. Counselor Stu has pointed out that in light of his behavior today, we may want to reassess this might be a good idea's ankle bracelet. I've been thinking about that myself. He has saved our lives. You both did, as I should have acknowledged before. You were amazing. Yes. I, I hesitate to say, however, this is still only his first day, and <laughs> making a good impression would bode well even from our enemies. You make a good point. He hasn't asked about it yet. I am considering it. We may want to take to regard it as a step in future. But I trust you and I trust your judgment. And as my first officer, he's one of your crew now. And I think it might mean a lot to him if we ultimately decide it's the right time. Just think about it. It's my call. <laughs> Need your help. Always have. Mm, don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here's the question. Is it a good idea? <laughs> oh. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. I'm not going to make good idea puns. <laughs> the, rest, um, the rest of us will. All I do is good idea puns. Yeah, thank you. How about I just accept his apology and we keep the bracelet till he says anything about it? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good That's idea. A good, first that sounds like a great okay. idea. I wish I was. Baby I'm like steps. on the other side of this room, being like. <laughs> I'm, my, I'm the security thought? officer. I don't like this. Don't, <laughs> don't worry, we're keeping it off. Yeah, I'm the security officer. How come I don't get a say in this? I know. <laughs> Actually, that's a really good point. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you, you, you asked me first, and then, but yeah. I'm saying keep it on, so we don't need to ask her. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. I'm, si I'm right. That's your. I only. Opinion. Saved us from, it's fine, it's cool, it's fine. Okay. Uh, we yeah, I have a lot to fill you in on, by the way. <laughs> oh, fun! <laughs> Taking that bracelet off doesn't mean, dude, there are a lot of people can do a lot of shit without bracelets on. Uh, Man, we have a fantastic security officer. Uh, I know, but how great if we know exactly where someone is at all times. How will we all wear one? That would be great. <laughs> now that's a good idea. <laughs> and someone's not wearing one, do we know why? Something suspicious happened. Probably that person. Counselor Stu, uh, uh, it is something I think we should consider. I'm gonna wait and see if he asks. It's a, the first day. I think you're, uh, I think you're making a wise choice, but I also saw him today. I saw him fix the uh, engines. I. I saw him trying to make good on his past crimes. Maybe I'm a softy, but... He was a captive. I'm, uh... I'm not telling you to do something you don't want to do. And obviously, Commandant, I understand the trauma that you've experienced. Just putting in my vote for empathy. It's my job. And that's why we value you. Thank you very much, Counselor Shu. Thank you, Captain. Overridden. And he leaves. <laughs> smart, smart cat. Smart <laughs> Stu. That's why we call him Smart Stu. <laughs> uh, and with uh, with the uh, with the vote for empathy hanging in the air, but an understanding that good idea is still not fully trusted by this crew, and probably for good reason. Uh, the uh, thank you. The uh, accept his apology. The Starship Avalon heads back into Pakha space. Uh, to uh, receive a new Pakha uh, peacekeeper uh, as its uh, or Pakha as its uh, as its central core, uh, and to head off onto a totally new adventure 
in two weeks. You've succeeded, you survived, hooray, well done. Congratulations, the end to be continued. Yay. Don't say that! <laughs> oh, right. That's the equivalent of I'll be right back in a horror movie now. Oh yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah, to be continued, they all die in the same room and then somebody else comes into right. the room and goes, oh yeah. The brightest I have to solve our murders We've next been a yeah, dream. Exactly. The brightest I have to solve your murders next We've been a dream the whole time. time. Oh, yeah. Guys, spoiler alert, it was Major Crow. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was awesome. Thanks for doing it. Thanks for once again going one hour uh, over. Uh, vast so episodes are just four hours. Deal with it. Um, <laughs> so uh, I want to, I'm, I'm gone full screen so that I can tell you guys uh, the awesome results of our awesome ooh, poll. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, yeah, ooh, guys. Oh, yeah. We have an actual thing. Tell me. Who is the winner? It? I'm personally a little bummed we didn't go with Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> yeah, I, me too, dude. So we, I, I understand. And I, I really like Inglorious Bastards. Really good, pretty long. Um, it's pretty yeah. long, and if you just go with Bastards, I'm a little worried that it becomes Vasturds really fast, <laughs> yeah, or no. Vastards really fast, no and in good. both cases no. I'm uncomfortable no. with it. Okay, touche, yeah. touche. So, What's I What's the better option? <laughs> so, uh, I hate to be the bearer of uh, told you so news, Whoa. but... It was Major Crow! It was Major Crow. <laughs> um, do I get to see the results of this? You have to vote. I then. did. Oh. But it didn't. I did. Then why are you gloating about what it's going to be? Is it? Oh, so, so it hasn't changed since what you yeah. showed me. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm being all uh, uh, teasy. You're all Vastronauts. Yay! Yay! Uh, so really, uh, I, I, uh, I, I have to give a shout out to Nick Gilman, who's the writer who actually initially coined Vastronauts. We used that a lot, but he is not going to be the person who gets a prize. No gift card for you, Nick Gilman. Yeah, I, I, not for you, Nick Gilman. I pay that guy to write the show. I don't need to pay him extra in Amazon <laughs> gift cards. Uh, I really should, but I don't. <laughs> uh, instead, we are going to give it to Shay X5. Shay X5, you Yay! are the winner Yay! of the best fan uh, contest. I found a jacket. Uh, and uh, an Amazon right gift card I'm in a, uh, I think a fairly Half solid amount is coming your way. Um, I, at I crossing wanna, speed. Yeah, <laughs> I, at crossing speed. I do want to give a shout out though to a couple of honorable mentions that didn't come in until after oh, the first God. round, both of which I really liked. Ooh. The first is Vast Majority. Aww. Which yeah. I really like and makes us sound pretty dope. That is pretty cool. Yep. And also, Vasters of the Universe. <gasps> oh, so good! That's copyright Vast infringement. It, but, it's, but it's straight up copyright yeah. infringement. And it's really long. So, in oh. both cases, I'm, 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 I'm sad we didn't do them, but come on, Vastronauts is so cool and it's so goofy, and now you guys have to use it because you voted on it. <laughs> that's how it works. Uh, that's how voting works. You get stuck with things you don't want to get stuck with. No, let's not. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so anyway, thank you guys again for coming. Uh, thanks for watching Vast. We continue to have an absolute blast doing this. I had fun. Did you guys have fun? Yay! Yay! Yeah, this was unbelievable. Um, that was terrifying. I, 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 Best I will, episode yet. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna tell you. I agree. Uh, I'm gonna tell you something uh, because I, I like doing this after my games when my characters do things that are like totally unexpected. I did not have anything written. The writers did not expect at all that you guys would attempt diplomacy with humble friend. The ent that entire third phase was built, the reason this is called the Vast and the mm -hmm. Furious in large part was not just because you guys lose control of the drive going in, but that you were supposed to have a chase sequence through the slate out when you got your engines online and bolted from a brightest eye onslaught that you could not stop. And instead you came up with an ingenious way around it that I we did, did not mm -hmm. foresee mm -hmm. uh, based on your mutual understanding mm -hmm. of the brightest eye language. Again, something I hadn't really foreseen. So uh, this is one of the things I really love about Vast. It's one of the things I love about the Star Trek game is that oftentimes I will write a game and that about halfway through a character will do something that completely invalidates everything I had planned and makes the game something different and better and cooler. And um, poor humble friend is just gonna get so executed. Oh yeah, he's uh, dead. It's, oh yeah, he's I'm, we're dead. gonna we're gonna we're gonna pick up with him in the brightest eye game, and it's gonna be bad news. Um, but hey, awesome. what your fault. Well um, so anyway, uh, I'm I'm uh, just I'm thrilled that uh, the, that already Vast is doing this thing where it gets entirely off of my paths. Um, so thank you again for being such amazing players. Uh, now that I've left you with that guilt, 
And um, a lot. good luck to the brightest eye doing anything quite as badass as lighting yeah. this on fire and heating up a gas tube. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Brightest eye, you got nothing. I wasn't you got it. nothing. Bring it. Like... Nothing. <laughs> uh, and also, I think props to while we're while we're playing off brightest eye stuff. Uh, Props to Rake for flying through the slate not Heck, once but yeah. twice without twice. guaranteed uh, yeah. rolls. Uh, yeah. So, you know, well okay. done on that, man. Uh -huh. That was nice that's some good pilot. Everybody there. kicked nice. butt. Let's go to bed. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to go to sleep. Thank you guys very much again. Um, all the fan art's amazing. Uh, keep it coming. Please, keep please, engaging. Please. Yeah, that fan art's amazing. Come to me, my astronauts. Uh, and I will see you in the future. In the future. Woo!